Okay, this is Pokemon Arceus. Oh. I have my controller plugged into the round thing. There we go. So. Where we start. I just gotta bring something up for me to listen to. Or I'm gonna go insane. Doom -ba -doom -ba. Okay, so wait now, let me get the audio right here. I don't know how much you know about this game, but uh, we're not that far in it. There's 10 stars, and we have two, and we're going for the third one. I just unlocked my second mount, which is this guy. He digs up shit out of the ground. And um, it's kind of like Sword and Shield in that there's uh, these big open fields. Yeah, it's kind of like Sword and Shield. There's like these big open worlds that you go through and uh, you just look for Pokemon and catch them. And you get, it's kind of like Pokemon Snap, like you'll get points for uh, catching a Pokemon or killing a Pokemon or watching a Pokemon use a certain move so many times. Or whatever it might be and then you at the end of the the end of the like almost like a monster hunter run at the end of the run you get points based on how well you did on your excursion right and then you get uh, you level up based on how many points you got and then once you level up that's your star so then you go to your captain and show them what you did and then they rank you up but each excursion area has like main quest story missions and they also have um alpha pokemon that you have to actually fight kind of like a souls like you have to dodge your abilities and stuff okay wait now let me see where i gotta go brava arena that's where i gotta go to I think to go there, I need to level up. I think. So... Oh no, I'm gonna drown. I'm drowning. I'm drowned. <laughs> I think I remember people being initially upset with this game because of uh, the graphics, I think. Um... I don't know what the initial problem with the game was, but I watched the review of the game, and what people said is, the, like, you can just look and see that the world is pretty bland. There's, like, not much in it, you know? Except for the Pokemon themselves. That was the biggest complaint about the game. And to be honest, it kind of makes sense because this is, like, their first open world attempt. They fall into the same trap that most people did, which is make a vast, empty world, right? That being said, though, it's not, like, so empty it's unplayable or anything. There's, like, there's no trainers. Unless you're, like, actually doing a quest, right? They should have had trainers all over the place. And you had to, like, sneak past them, you know? Like, hide in the grass to get past them if you didn't want to fight them, or... That would have been sick. But, um... Uh, instead, they just included the uh, trainers in the story, right? Like, this is actually kind of like a trainer battle here. I might be eating my own words now, because I'm not that far through the game. But he's got, like, three scum tanks. Like, what the hell? Stunkies. Yeah, this game is like, it's like a Souls-like, you know? 
they, they have three Pokemon, you have one Pokemon, you're getting your fucking ass kicked, right? <laughs> oh my god, Quilava. I might as well fight to the death, I guess. I assume you've never played this game before either? No. This is my first playthrough. I got to the... I got like 20 minutes through the game once before and that was it. And I'm already past that point. The reason I didn't play it was because it wasn't running too well. And... I learned since then I actually got it working decent. But there's also, um... There's a, there's a Monster Hunter game that I haven't played yet either. Is it Monster Hunter? It's, I don't know, it's kind of like Pokemon. No, it's Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest Monsters, that's what it is. That game's supposed to be good too. No effect on Stink Donkey? Is he dark? I thought he was poison. Uh oh. Yeah, we're gonna use teleport. Cleavor. Save my ass. Okay, we're gonna use stealth rock. The moves are different in this game too. That's a gamer series I never got into. Pretty sure Slump is a fan though. Well, Dragon Quest Monsters is like Pokemon, but the original Dragon Quest is like Final Fantasy. Like the original Final Fantasy. Turn-based. Um, you would you would like Dragon Quest if you like the original Final Fantasy games. If you like Japanese RPGs, this is like the one that invented them. <laughs> Dragon Quest is so popular in Japan, they have a thing called Dragon Quest Fever, where when a Dragon Quest game comes out, everyone takes a day off work. <laughs> like, though, there's like nobody around. They haven't made like a main, uh, a main installment into the Dragon Quest game in a long time, though. They've been doing Dragon Quest Builders, Dragon Quest Masters, Dragon Quest this. Yeah, Deku is insanely popular in Japan. It's basically their Call of Duty. Or whatever our most popular game is. Fortnite or something. It's just like everybody's playing it. Oh, I should have read all that. I'm sorry. I don't even know what that was for. You weren't kidding, you've got talent, and your Pokemon were so brave, too. I guess he was being attacked by Stunkies, and I saved his ass. So I figured out that... There's these lost satchels around. And what they're supposed to be is if, like, say if I died, I would drop my satchel. And then some cat could come by and pick up my satchel and send my items back to me. And then I get my items back and some cat gets um, reputation points that he can use to buy stuff in the shop. So we're going to go, I want to see how much I've unlocked so far. I can remember how to get back. How do I leave excursion? Return to village. Apparently Black Ops 6 is shaping up to be pretty good if they keep their promises. See the problem is they don't keep their promises. Like the last time I bought a Call of Duty game Modern Warfare 3. I bought it literally because they said we are not going to make another Call of Duty game for at least another year or two, right? Within eight months of that game releasing, they released the next one. 
after saying that they were going to wait two years. And then when the next one came out, they just got rid of all... They, they said, this one's going to be the only Call of Duty. It's going to be called Call of Duty. And it's going to be a platform where all their Call of Duty games go into. And they're like, this is the only one you'll ever need. And then they're like, a year later, yeah, we're going to make Black Ops 6 now. <laughs> I can't like, I can't even keep them at the like I don't I don't believe a fucking word they say anymore honestly. I wish I wish Black Ops was awesome but I don't believe them. <laughs> That's like uh Battlefield 2042 is $7 right now. The only reason it's $7 is because they're about to come out with another one. And they have, they've gave, given up uh, adding new content to that one. So if I do, if I get enough, um, what's it called? Reputation. I can uh, evolve Graveler or um, Hunter. I want to get items. How come I don't have any? I, I got two satchels last night. You gather mirror points or MP from helping people on the lost and found, right? Well, you can exchange MP for items if you'd like. Lost and found? Where the hell is that to? Kinko Guild Cart, purchase materials and various oddities. Your quarters, photography, cloth beer, hairdresser, general store. Craft works, the wallflower. Training grounds. So where the hell's lost and found? Wait, let me look this up. Black Ops 6 though, like the gunplay and stuff looks good. What do you think look good about it? Uh, where is last man? You know what's hilarious? You see this right here? This controller drift? Look at this. Brand new controller, right? Xbox controller, and it still has a controller drift. So that means that it's actually, the controller drift is not the controller at all. The controller drift is actually built into the game. I just watched a video about things they went over. Gotcha. I really hope they fix it. My Xbox controller drifted like a bitch. My Xbox controller doesn't at all. But it might be because there's like dead stick sensitivity in it. But I bet you watch this. Watch this. If I go into settings. Configure. Dead zone. Okay. Let's turn up the dead zone to 0 0.5, 0 0.05. It worked. So now you have to push the stick in a little bit further for it to start working. Apparently there's controller players for Call of Duty who uh, play with zero, with no dead stick. So they, uh, they have complete control over their sticks. A lot of the old COD formula is coming back, I think. Gotcha. I thought, so, okay, the old COD formula. I thought that was like arcadey, like uh, bunny hopping and like jump diving and stuff like that. I thought people didn't like that shit. Arcadey, they call it. Oh, you can see the place where players drop their satchels. Open the menu and communications. Oh. My arc phone. Last and found. Oh, 
If you black in the field, you may lose some of the, your items. However, players from all over the world can find your last items and send them to you via the internet. The system's called Lost and Found. If you find a satchel that someone else has lost, be sure to pick it up. The satchel you retrieve will be returned to its owner, and you can retrieve merit points as a reward. Merit points can be exchanged for items at the trading post in Jubilee Village. Pick up the last satchels wherever you find them, and you may be able to get your hands on some very special items. Yes. Thanks for finding it. 57. 90. I need a thousand. Oh my god. That's all I've found so far. Apparently that is a concern. Do you have access to online features? Um... I don't think so, but there is some games that do. They actually, all the pirators, um, play together. They have their own servers. So when you play, like, the pirated games, it could actually have more people than the original game. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. Oh, this dead stick is really weird. Do you have access? Oh, sailing the high seas together. Hell yeah. If buying isn't owning, then parting isn't stealing. God, I can't jump. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get up that. Under the sea. Under the sea. Oh my god. Can't get up there. I don't think you're supposed to be able to jump over this, but you totally can. Yeah. Tangle growth alpha just tore my head off. Okay, this is an annoying part of the game because I don't know how to get to that side. I might have to level up. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna level up a little bit. I don't have anything good against rock, I don't think. Ah, uh, jeez. So in this game, there is regular attacks, agile style, and strong style. So strong style will slow your attacks down, but make them stronger and use more PP. Agile style will speed up your attacks, lower them the damage and make the PP higher. So we're gonna go with strong style. Cause I'm gonna have to speed him anyway. Ooh, almost killed him with silver wind. What? I'm bugging rock and he uses rock slide and it kills me. It was super effective. Get the fuck out of here. That's some bullshit right there. I hate bug Pokemon. <laughs> They're bad against everything. I guess rock is neutral to rock and then bug is bad to rock, right? But it's just dumb. Because ground always fucks with me because all ground types and rock types, or all rock types are like ground types, you know? <laughs> yeah, let's see what's in here. 
I should get a crow gunk. This game's a little brutal for like, um... Just catching Pokemon can be hard. Because all that... You have more HP, more defense and stuff, but you also have... you also take more attack. But the enemies have more attack and stuff too. And then there's, like these guys, they ran away from battle. So to catch them, you're supposed to like, throw Pokeballs at them, but <clears throat> if you sneak up on them, hit them in the back, it'll do a higher chance, I believe. Oh, but that's in the back. Okay. Number you've caught without being spotted. So yeah, this part of the game reminds me of Pokemon Snap. But you're walking around instead of inside this thing. Inside the machine. Oh, you must fight, do you? Ow. You bit me. Little bastard. Do uh, heavy. So there's like, I'll show you in a second. There's challenges for every Pokemon. Uh, let's see if I can lock on to one of these. Okay. So like this guy here, Popo Tatus. You got your number cot. Four out of twenty-five. So to catch 25 of these motherfuckers. And a number you've caught without being spotted. 2 out of 20. Number you've defeated, 0 out of 15. Number of number you've defeated with grass type moves. Times you've seen it use bite. Times you've given it food. Number of different forms you've obtained. Number you've evolved. And then, the crazy part is. You gotta do the same thing for Hippodon, his evolved form. And they're different. So this game is like a collectathon. Apparently in the second part second half of the game, the second arc. It can be a little uh a little rough. Dude, he, he started to fight with me, and then he ran away when I fought him. I would probably give Sword and Shield a higher review than this game. Just because... Sword and Shield have this like all turn base. It's a little bit more fun. To sneak it up behind <clears throat> uh like Pal World did this better than Pokemon did. <laughs> Sneaking up behind them and stuff is just a little like, I don't know. Tedious is the word. Tiresome. I don't want to catch 25 of those things. I barely want to catch one of them. Iron Chunk. There's something going. This might be what people were complaining about too, huh? All the textures just disappeared. <laughs> so that could be what they're talking about with the graphics too. That wouldn't surprise me. In terms of Pokemon games, 
This is probably the least uh, quality one that they've released. Like, just a lot of bugs with it and stuff. Like, this is horrible, right? But it, I'm playing a ROM too, right? So this could be the ROM, could be the emulator. Could be the game, I don't know. And the people saying that they didn't like the game, half of them probably pirated the game, right? <laughs> you never know, dude. I feel that post-release... Oh, that's definitely an em emulation problem. I feel like post-release people look back on it pretty fondly. One release, they were upset though. Gotcha. Oh my god. Well, I can say one thing. I've never seen it happen on any of the other emulated games. Let me see some shit. Oh, you dick. He walked off the edge on his own. Why are you walking? Dude, the controller drift is wild right now. Okay. Uh, look around. Eric, you. This thing. There's actually a YouTube video fix. It says Yuzo, though. This is Ryunjix. It's just people complaining about uh, the world itself. They're saying the lighting is bad and stuff in the game, so it makes it look gross, right? Or at least that one guy with that one video, that's what he said. If I restart this, it, the textures will come back. Should be a oh my god, a crow a goal bat. Ah, screw it. <laughs> this is the Diamond Clan village. The story is pretty good in this game. I just, I don't know. It feels pretty janky. Real slapper controls over here. You ever drive a truck with no power steer with, with uh, no power steering fluid? This was like playing this game. The goal, you gotta turn right. Hold it. Oh, gotta turn the other way. <laughs> Dude, I had to drive like that for a long time. Lady Lilligan, a sight to see, even in her frenzy. The trick is, turn while you're moving. If you try to turn when you're not moving, good luck turning the wheels. I hope we didn't keep you waiting. 
All it took was one of the poultices to get Arizu's leg all patched up. So to catch you guys up, this chick came to the village asking for help. This old chick told her to fuck off because she's a bitch. Then this chick tried to do it by herself. Ended up getting lost in the forest and hurt her leg. And then I had to go find her and save her ass. And then after I saved this old chick, she helped me save this chick. And now they're all good. Calaba, ma'am, I'm deeply sorry we've had to lean on your help so much, especially as we're from different clans. Arizu tried to solve the whole situation herself, and I dare say she bit off more than she could chew and caused some trouble, but her heart was in the right place. Listen, the Lady of the Ridge, Liligant, is, a, is like a dancer, always in motion, always starting about. You'll want to watch her real close and learn how to dodge her moves. Alright, if you keep on dodging, she might get tired out, and that'll be your opening. That's when you can bring out your own Pokemon and prove your might. Don't let, don't let me down. So this is a boss fight. I have to dodge Liligant's abilities while throwing um, her favorite foods at her and stuff to calm her down. And then uh, you gotta throw your Pokemon and battle her in between. Better tear my fucking head off. Lady of the Ridge should live again. Position 271 in the queue. Gosh darn lads, this is brutal. Yeah, that sounds pretty rough, bro. When you press the Y button to dodge, you'll become invulnerable to Pokemon attacks for a brief moment. Dodge with just the right timing to pass through incoming attacks as they're taking damage. I guess let's keep throwing. I don't think she's hit me yet, but it's hard to tell. She's a monster. Ember. I don't like um, these lines here, though. These cinematic lines. They're called vin vignettes. Vignettes. It like literally cuts off her name and everything. It's so ugly. Strang style. Oh my gosh! I'm tear my head off. Quilava, no. I swear to God, Quilava is my weakest Pokemon. He dies every time I send him out. Look at that guard down. That's your chance. Throw some bombs. Take that bomb attack. Trying to look up like a, a fan made Pokemon Souls like, but it's really hard to find. Just imagine Pokemon, right? But instead of like a story, it was kind of like um, Dark Souls or something, and there was campfires, and you had to like fight your way to the campfires. And you gotta fight it like a big boss dude and stuff, like that would be so fun.
take this bomb. Boom. She doesn't even look familiar to me. Lily Gant? She must be new to this, is she? This is Huswai Lily Gant, I'm guessing. You received the metal plate from Lily Gant. Metal plate. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of plants. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows the Pokemon to gain power of the grass type. Yeah, she's part fighting. Heal ye. Don't ask me, yo. Modern Pokemon is beyond me, Eloa. I forget what I said. You didn't just save Lilligant, you saved Arizu as well. I appreciate it. First Ursuluna, Ursuluna and now Lilligant? You're amazing, you know that? Being all frenzied didn't suit Lilligant one bit. Oh, I asked if she was uh, a new Pokemon. I'm so happy she's back to her graceful self. Lily. Rizu, you still owe someone an apology. Huh? Oh, don't worry about it. A young one like her is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. This is crazy to me. Like, I'm reading this story out, so I'm actually following it. This is all the old chick's fault. This has nothing to do with this young chick. This young chick was trying to help everybody and got hurt in the process because this old chick wouldn't help her in the first place. So why does she have to apologize to her? She should be apologizing to her. Remember what's written in the Silesian runes? All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. There's wisdom in those words. I imagine they're teaching of Almighty Sinath itself. Boomer's messing up stuff for the younger generation again. <laughs> yeah. Kalaba. Of course, I'd completely forgotten about them until a certain somebody helped me remember. Edmund. We owe you one, ma'am. Kalaba. We don't try to solve everything by yourself, Rizu. You're a board now. Of all people, we should know how to stand in clarity with others. It's your job to stand side by side with Pokemon, after all. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Well, I can hardly start yelling at you now after Kalaba wrapped all that up so nicely. By the way, I forgot to tell you, Silas. I checked the stream summary after. We had 24 viewers from the last stream, Arceus. And I think there was uh, 14 unique viewers. Just one more thing, Arizu. I know you were trying to do what you thought was right, and I approve of that. But from now on, do it without keeping things from me. Agreed? Other than that, no need to change a thing. Except maybe to put up some training. If anything else happens to Lilligant, I need you ready to protect her like the warden you are. I understand. Let's work together from now to keep the Marlin safe, Arizu. I'll be sure to inform Iridia that both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy Team helped save Ursa Luna. You did well, Sin. All our different groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit, it was a fun day for me, but now it's time I'd be on my way. Adamant. Listen, you know me. I'm Adamant, the leader of the Diamond Clan, and I worship Almighty Sinop, the ruler of time. Time's all but change, and we can't live in fear of all that. We can only try to help the time we live and change for the better. We can only try to help the time we live and change for the better. <clears> That's <throat> the, the same with English. We can only try to help the time we live in. Okay, change for the better. Okay, I get it now. Something tells me helping you folks out will help me do that. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for everything, Sin. I'll try it. I'll stay and talk to Lilligan for a while. What happened, Lilligan? How did a kind-hearted Pokemon like you end up all frenzied, huh? 
Though it's not like I'm perfect. I hid things and lied and kept... Couldn't even keep you safe. I'm real sorry about everything. D.D.? It's like, what the hell did you say to me? Alright. Commander Kamado? Oh, no. It's really like, I thought this was a, a camp. I can't leave from here. A real wonder. I saw a light disappearing into space-time rift quelled another frenzied Pokemon, have you? Volo. We still didn't know what's causing the lightning from the frenzies, these, that frenzies these Pokemon. But you, you don't, you go on rescuing them without even a hint of trepidation. You might even can change the entire course of history here in Hisboy. And I definitely want to be in the good books with someone like that. Let's stay in touch, friend. Oh, that was a waste of time to read. Yes. Next. Do -do -do -do. I guess see what Volo sells. I haven't even looked at his shop, I don't think. Oh, we're not three star yet. Found her by the scent of my Moochie, did you? Of course you did. When have you, my level of skill, your handy, when you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognized from a mile away. Remember to be thankful for everything to eat such ma masterful moochie when you come for dinner later. But first, don't you owe Kamado a report? Your meal can wait. I don't know why he has a grass mustache, but I don't trust him. He's hiding something. He's like a criminal or something, hiding from the police. Deke, there you are. You're the one, right? The one they've been talking about. The Survey Corps. Kid that's been exploring the Crimson Mirelands. My younger sister, Wanda, is in the Security Corps, you see? And she went to the Mirelands too. But she never made it back. You managed to track down the Ariza woman in those boggy Mirelands, right? So could you find my sister, Wanda, too? Anything I can go off? You planning on using a Pokemon to find her? Hmm. Would her favorite handkerchief maybe help? Ursaluna picked up Wanda's scent. I'm counting on you. Please find Wanda wherever in the Wirelands she's ended up. Kind of stray in the Wirelands. So you successfully calmed the Lilligan. Excellent. There may be times when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. A stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time. When frenzies are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from that very same rift, but you have no connection to the lightning. Isn't that right? You may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond in, in pugining. In pugining. D. 
there you go. Piping hot potato moochie fresh from the stove. Got him eating potato in real life, potato in the game. Now this is the life, eh? Enjoying tasty potato moochie with friends, sharing the latest findings from our Pokemon research, and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for anything more? I don't disagree, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With our research, or with carving out a life here? Ah, well, here's a flashy new recipe to try, Sin. It's for an item that should help scatter these gloomy thoughts. You have obtained a recipe for craft crafting scatter bangs. Scatter bang fireworks? Come now, don't worry yourself so, my girl. As a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you'll find your way. These words are worth taking to heart. As long as we truly believe in ourselves, I'm sure we'll even complete that Pokedex of ours someday. <laughs> My god, can you imagine completing the Pokedex? <laughs> you guys you guys thought you you were playing a hard game with Dark Souls. This is truly tearing your ball sack off. Morning sleepyhead. You'll never guess what. I'm going to start working at the hairdresser shop. Now you'll be able to try out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? Oh, I'm still going to be little against Warden and all. I'll be burning the cradle at both ends. But I can make it work, don't you worry. Oh, they're best friends now. Anyway, come on over to the hairdressers when you can, Sim. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. I am pleased that you have found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. Mr. Kamado, sir, er, so about that whole Ursaluna situation. If you are to work here in Jubilife Village, you are family to us no matter who you are or where you are from. Welcome, Arizu. And you, Sin, you will come with me. To Prelude Beach. These people have just arrived here in Hiswoy. They have lived together with us in Jubilee Village. Or they will live together with us in Jubilee Village. When we of the Galaxy team first arrived on this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. It is where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. We've heard that the Husvoi region is inhabited by powerful and frightening Pokemon. But we've also heard the Galaxy team knows a great deal about Pokemon and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilee Village grow. Indeed, you have both heard correctly. And the reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to Sin here, one of our Survey Corps recruits. Though the combined efforts of our of all of our team members let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in the Hosoi region. We look forward to doing our part, Commander. The advancement of our understanding of Pokemon thanks to the Survey Corps has expanded the areas where we can operate safely. That is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Sin, you truly do love Pokemon, don't you? I do. I truly love them. Hmm, Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy Team, and yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose that is a necessary quality for one of the, in the Survey Corps. Remember this though, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It is imperative that we study them and learn all we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. And be warned, as the leader of the Galaxy Team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilee Village. Commander, Aridia from the Pearls Clan has arrived. Good, I believe I know what she's here to talk about. As for you, Sin, 
You should see for yourself how Jubilee Village is changing thanks to the Survey Corps' efforts. Then you will come to my office. Yes, I'm... Um... So did the village get bigger? Whoa. This is a practice field. Let's go back inside. Jubilee. <laughs> I commend you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Marlands. Your next orders are to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coastlands. I will let you know in advance there are no Pokemon Nobles in the Cobalt Coastlands. No Nobles? Allow me to explain. We did have a Lord in the Coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. Feels bad, man. Now you had reports of people seeing strange, shadowy figures on the island. The Lord used to call his home. We have also received word from both the Security Corps and the Supply Corps. Does that mean there's going to be trainers here? It seems some of their members were attacked by ghosts while out gathering materials around Fire Spit Island. These are serious concerns, and moreover, my clan can't just tolerate this discretion of our Lord's late Lord's seat. Normally, I'd entrust this to our warden in the coastland, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. The Lordless Island. New mission. Guiding now active. I'll meet you into the Cobalt Coastlands. I'll meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm sorry, Sin. I think nothing of it. Sin is a talented and hard-working member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure he'll sort things out. Indeed, Sin quelled the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both his strength and his kindness firsthand. You've got a crush on me. The next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. It is far afield. It is further afield than the Crimson Marlands. Much further. And the path is long and trying. You must at least... You must be at least a third star in our ranks to be able to tackle the coastlands. Strive to defeat Pokemon in battles and observe them using particular moves in your survey work. Work on such research tasks to ready yourself and help with any requests that may have been posted on the Professor's Blackboard in his lab. Professor's Blackboard in his lab. Jeez, I don't even know where his lab is too. Let's take a look. There's definitely something I'm missing here. There's probably like a hundred quests down here waiting for me. Wait, who the hell are you? The nostalgic and unmistakable fragments. If only no. I wonder if the herbs from my home region can be found here in Hisboy as well. Oh, you're part of the Survey Corps, right? Maybe you've seen what I'm looking for? It's an herb that looks like a bluish vine. 
I heard it clings to a specific Pokemon. Please, let me know if you managed to catch a Pokemon that has herbs that look like blue vines hanging out of it. What could that be, guys? I've never heard of such a Pokemon. I thought there was a downstairs. Is this downstairs? Oh, there's a classroom down here. A hall, if it isn't the Survey Corps' recruit who quelled the Lord of the Woods. Here, as Choi's errand boy, are you? Don't waste your breath. I've got nothing to sell to him and a store anyway. Now go on, scurry. Pestering me for goods when I'm already tearing my hair out trying to get hardy grains? Sheesh. Wait, you've got hardy grains? Would you let me have some? Please, just three stocks. I don't know. You're being a dick. What do you think, guys? Should I give it to him? <laughs> I guess so, seeing who you are. Chao Hua. Just because your last name is Hua. You handed over three stocks of hardy grains. Ah, hardy grains, the Crimson Marland's finest feature. Hmm, I guess. <laughs> The sway of those golden brown stocks across the landscape fills me with yearning for home. I'd wager if you combine hardy grains with other ingredients, it'd bring out their tasty aromas that would make Pokemon gather around. All right, I won't send you back. A, I won't send you back a failure since you so kindly brought me these hardy grains. Tell Choi I'll set him up with new wares. Oh, we got the new wares for Choi. Okay, some of the survey in the core notes. Current goals, spreading the usage of common crafting recipes and securing sufficient materials for the village. Status, in general, progressing favorably. Okay, this is not the lab though, but I did have to go down here for a quest. Dude, he must have his own building, bro. All right, we're gonna have to go find this lab. Yo, is this a merchant? He must be in Volo's guild. The merchant guild. Okay, one of these has got to be perfect. Oh, here it is. Yeah, this is his lab. And here is the blackboard. Nothing here seems relevant to you. Oh, thanks for suggesting it to me. Stupid commander. Fucking useless. <laughs> Ah, I'm just kidding. We're going to check out our new wares. Hi there, got a special product in stock. A Nanbud Berry Set. Yours for the bargain price of 1,000 zenny. What is it you ask? Well, that's for you to find out after you buy it. What do you say? Uh, I'll have to think about it. Not buying, eh? Well, that's too bad. It would be a shame this item got snatched up by somebody else. Fine day to you, my friends. Care to peruse our top-notch selection of rarities? The Ginkgo Cart Guild carts sell items you won't find at the general store. Tire Shroom. Oh. This is for making dire hits. Crafting various items. Candy Trop. Bibi chokes. This is actually pretty good because I can make revised with Bibi chokes, but I don't want to waste my money on stuff I don't really need right now. What the hell? Oh, this is one of the bee dupes I had to find. Champ, champ. They're actually hiding in the village. I didn't even realize. Darn, it got away. Let's wait a while and then go search for it again. Just make sure you have Bidoof with you. Ah. Uh, I gotta put Bidoof in my inventory and then look, go around looking for those things. <clears throat> Might as well do that now. <laughs> I'd rather do that than catch something 25 times. <laughs> Where's Bidoof? Over here. To be fair, you probably don't have to do it 25 times. It's just... 
you can do it up to 25 times, probably. New request, new request. Okay. Where the hell is B with go? It's kind of cool because this village changes over time. Like I had a request to get this guy Wurmple and now he has a Wurmple standing next to him. And then as I raised in the ranks, you know, more people are joining the town. General store, I don't even think I've ever been there. This is the wallflower, that's for potato moochie. This is the general store. We've got new goods in stock, thanks to you. I'm sorry you had to deal with all that. Tawahua and I have had some complications before. But thanks to you, we've got excellent new items to offer. Do buy some. New items added to the general store's offerings. Okay, show me. I'm afraid Tawahua... Sorry. I'm afraid Tao Hua is refusing to do business with me again. He won't listen to a word I say. Would you try to persuade him for me again? I'm sure you'll get good get somewhere if you bring three pod pop pods as a token of goodwill. Perhaps after this he'll actually accept me. How about this? Instead of me doing your job and his job, how about you give me the things I need to give him and then I'll give it to him. You douchebag? Jesus, we're trying to buy something. <laughs> Smoke bomb. When thrown at the ground, these balls produce a cloud of fine powder that will be re that will reduce visibility in the area and keep wild Pokemon from noticing you. That's pretty cool. Cake lure base. Type of field provision that enhances the flavor of other foods as mixed with. Honey cake. Uh, combined with honey with a cake lure base. These cakes will potentially effectively... These are potent, potently effective at attracting bug Pokemon and also those with fairy-like charms. And then this one's the same thing, but for dragons. That's pretty cool. Now the question is, where the hell is Tau? <laughs> oh, I gotta, I gotta talk to her now? Oh, I just gotta talk to her once I'm three star, okay. Now there's something I had to do here, and yeah, I've already forgot. Oh yeah, I gotta talk to Hua. I'm glad I found him, because apparently he had a lot of quests to do with him. Tawa Hua. Oh ho, if it isn't the Survey Corps recruit who quelled the Lady of the Ridge, what can I do for you? You're running errands for Choi again? Send a customer to negotiate for him once was bad enough, but twice? Where's his spine? Pestering me for goods when I'm already tearing my hair trying to get pop pods? Sheesh. Oh, I used all my pop pods for crafting. They were everywhere too. Okay, so we need pop pods. We need to find the bee dupes. We need to um, get to level three. Okay, chomp chomp. Bidu sees another Bidu. Got it. Great going, team. Yeah, there should be two more because you know what Japanese are like with threes the number three It's always three of everything. Oh, there's a wish back here Cool Five wisps remaining in this area It's like a massive collectathon like even worse than <laughs> Like what Pokemon started out like 
Oh, I'm not reading this shit. She's talking about charms. Tell me, what is your wish? Lose fewer items. Faint less frequency. Stay in good health. Hmm. While we think about this, I gotta use the bathroom. We'll be right back.
I'm almost back, guys. I'm just going to stretch. And, uh, and we made a decision on which charm we're going to take. All right, we'll take health. I was thinking health as well, honestly. Um, also, staying in good health sounds promising, yeah. Also, choose a Pokemon that you want, and I'll put it on my team. One Pokemon each. I'll show you which ones I got in a second. I don't think there's a specific generation. I think it's like just a mix of all kinds of shit. Stay in good health. I just charmed for that, my dear. It's yours for 50 or 500 zenny. Does that sound? How does that sound? I'll take it. This charm is imbued with the mysterious power of the Shrine Guardian. May it serve you well. You obtained a warding charm, error. A mysterious charm that holds the power of to protect a person from being afflicted with status conditions. This type of charm comes in five different colors. <coughs> This is a person, not a Pokemon, a person. Do you think Roserade is in it? Um, I know Bidu is in it and Roselia. Roselia turns in Roserade, right? I'm assuming Roserade. Because some, some Pokemon are the Hoswoi versions. I don't think Roserade has a Hoswoi version, though. Uh, the pasture's over here. We'll take a look at what Pokemon I got so far. To be like, we're not that far through the game, I don't think, because there's not a whole lot of Pokemon yet. Okay, we will choose Roserade if it's possible. Gotcha. Um, since we don't have that many right now, I'll also make it possible to change your decision whenever you want. So if you want to change it from Roserade later, I'll swap it out to something else. Leveling in this game is not that hard. I don't have Bidu yet, though. I actually got to go catch him. Shit. I don't know if you're still looking at that. Some cat, are you still looking? Is anyone still looking? There's also pasture one. Is 
Is there a um, all pastures? I'm gonna go catch the add zoo bat for me, okay? Uh, we actually have our, our choice zoo bats. We got like six of them. Let's see. Special attack down, defense up. Neutral. Attack up, speed down. What nature are you looking for? Uh, attack up, special attack down. That's pretty good. Uh, attack up, special attack down. Okay. This one's special attack down, special defense up. We'll take this one though. I doubt the other one's any good. Now, B do is going to take the place of Cody's Rose Raid. Until I finish this quest, slash get him a rosary. Who am I going to get rid of here? Ah, Luxio is so good, I don't know if I can get rid of him. And grab, maybe I'll get rid of Graveler until... Because 30 is the highest that I can even use right now. Yeah, fuck it, we'll get, we'll come back for Graveler. Once I get, uh, a thousand mirror points to evolve him. And then, uh, I want to say the Rose Raids are, like, here. Shit, it was the second one. It doesn't matter, though. I can fast travel from here. Cody, Cody you might really like this because it's a lot like Monster Hunter. And I kind of think that's why I don't like it. I don't know. Don't we need at least four rock types, though? Four rock types for what? Oh yeah, that's right. And we have no, we have no water types. My God, my team has no synergy. What was I thinking? Right. Well, I have one rock type. To be fair. And Quilaba can learn rollout. That's kind of like a rock type. And I mean, we have Kadabra. I think I can be forgiven for having a cadaver. And then there's Zubat. Like, I mean, you didn't even pick a rock type. You're just trying to fuck me. <laughs> so basically, I'm only allowed to choose four rock types because Cody chose Grocer and you chose Zubat. <laughs> well, one of them's going to be Cleavor. One of them's going to be Golem. <laughs> I don't know what the other two are going to be. I've seen the pseudo Wudo when I was running around. Maybe that'll be the other rock type. The question is, pseudo Wudo would fit perfectly. Yeah, no. I don't know where I seen him to though, because I was running around with Ursa Luna trying to find that Mrs. Ascent. If only I was there's some kind of a Pokédex or something. <laughs> if only this at if only we didn't have some incompetent asshole making our Pokédex, we would know where it was. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Alpha Snorlax. I can't take him yet. He's level forty-five. I want to, though. Oh, Alexio. Oh my god, Lux Ray? Bro, I can't... Can't go much further over here. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Staravia. Okay. Run, Stantler. I was pressing the wrong button. Okay, that's Kadabra. Abra. Luxio. Well, I'm running past this stuff. I'm gonna grab some of it. 
Because apparently it's requests. Tumblestone. Bug wart. I have so many bug warts. Whoa, is that an Alpha Alkazam? Took a second for my brain to realize what I just saw. So you can catch Alkazam. Instead of getting farming merit points, eh? No, Alkazam levels up, right? Levels up. Evolves through level up. I think you can catch golems though. I don't think you actually have to evolve a golem. Also, you have to hold down V to dash. Instead of just pressing it. I wish you could toggle it. We gonna find ourselves a V do in a second here. I know he's around here somewhere. I can actually Roselia should be right next to him too. B do turns into Roselia, right? It's a wormpole. Beautifly. Should probably catch that beautifully. Never caught one yet. Correct, okay. Let's do a quick attack here. Try not to kill him. Because Ember would destroy his ass. Oh my god, two of them at once. Okay, we're gonna kill his ass because there's two of them. Four. Fight. Ember. Oh, I'd, that would have killed him, so it's a good thing I was paralyzed. You know what? We're gonna swap to Cleavor. Because Cleavor is the ultimate counter to bug types. And then we're gonna use. Aerial Ace. Oh, tore his head off. Fever is just too strong. Okay, we'll do quick attacks with Queen Lava. He avoided it. So, like an example of how. <clears throat> moves are different here. He, it's okay. A lot of stuff just happened there. He just went twice because he's tw he's fast. He's so fast, so much faster than me. He gets two turns. Not only that, um, like if I went to catch him and I and I failed, his stats would go up too because <laughs> he'd be enraged and his stats would go up. And then, like, uh, if I hypnosis him, he's not asleep, like, 100% chance of not hitting. He just becomes drowsy, and then there's a chance of him not attacking. Kind of like confusion, only you don't attack yourself. So, in this, in this game, sleep is basically stung, or paralysis. As far as I can tell. This game is fun, but they, um, I think the second one will be like a lot better. You know what I mean? Like they're going to learn a lot from this one. It's one of those one of those games. They just need to learn how to the best way to do it.
like even Power World didn't really get it, but they did a they did a pretty good job. The first person that gets it though is gonna have like billions of dollars. I can tell you that. Just think of it, a Pokemon MMO that's something like this. Like action, action style. Okay, we're gonna teleport. This is field lands. We need to go to Oits. I remember him being very close to a camp. There's Stantler. Peppa plant. Okay, we needed those. There's another one. There's another one. Parasect. Alpha Parasect, I think. Paris. Starly. I hurt the I hurt the weird deer. Jump too far. Peppa plant. Keeps bringing me back here because of the thing. The quest keeps bringing me back to that place. Subconsciously, I keep going towards it. Whoa, Evie! Holy shit, son! level four you can buy uh, you can buy uh, fire stones and stuff somewhere Eevee in the evening Mime Jr. Mime Jr. Got him. Uh, 
I offer Buizo. Took your Queen Lava right away. Oh, I forgot that he's rock. It's not gonna go well. Let's use Silver Wind. Water Pulse. Ooh. Damn, son. Zubat level 14. Maybe it has to be the morning. Or maybe I'm just stupid. I need to go over here. There's a Zubat. Cricket Tat. Trifloom! Trifloom! No, I scared him, I think. No, whatever. Whatever. He's angry. I gotta make Pokeballs real fast. No. No way. I don't have any Pokeballs. There's no way, dude. Okay, he's at Deer Track Path. We have to leave and come back. I gotta go buy Pokeballs. You want him? Okay. I told you I seen one, bro. Oh my god, they're everywhere. So it was nighttime. You gotta be around nighttime. Sell me some shit. I want to do some shopping. What do you want to buy? Um, Oh shit, I didn't mean to throw that on the ground. <laughs> he ran away! <laughs> oh no, he never. I'm gonna have to fight both of them. Oh, they're level 4? Um, I guess I'll hypnos hypnosis him. Hypnose him. Hip What's the plural of hypnosis? Hypni? Oh, they're getting Hypni. Ah, uh, Hypnotize? Hypno- Hypnosis. Ah, oh, Hypnosis. Oh no, how do I switch Pokemon? Okay, I don't know why I use Confusion, he's a ghost Pokemon. Fighting a, a psychic Pokemon. What a noob. We'll just catch him. I was gonna put them both to sleep and then catch them both, but I guess I'll just put one to sleep, catch him, one to sleep, catch him. I 
<laughs> I gotta try to be quiet. Or close my window, probably. It's already midnight. Should have rested. We're gonna switch up now, our Pokemon. Now, which one do you want? Uh, check summary. Attack Dan, special defense up. Or attack up speed down. <sighs> or do you want me to catch another one? Which I don't mind doing because I need experience for catching shit anyway. It's a big difference in speed, though. I'm gonna take that as catch some more. Hypnoi. Oh, Hypnoi. Alright, I'll catch another. I figured. <laughs> I figured you were busy and I figured you wanted another one. I'll catch as many as I can find around here. And then see what they're like. Oh my god, there's... I see two more over here. Numbered caught at night, three out of five. This one's level ten. Oh my god, he tore a cadaver apart. Did I say she? Oh, he a monster. Yeah, he is a monster. I'm just gonna try to catch him. How am I gonna do this now without killing him? Let's go, B Doof! It's your time to shine! <laughs> They all dead of you, but now you'll show your true potential. But yeah, now I can catch him. I 
Never doubt the bee doof, boys. Never doubt the bee doof. just happened? He picked up that wood? Cool. Hmm. Let's just see if I can catch it. I got one more Pokemon. Go, go. Damn, son. over. I have to kill this Drifloom. Can't let anyone else have the secret weapon. Quilava! I dare you take seven health from him with your Astonish. Check our drift wounds. Mm -hmm. I passed those in. Oh, twenty two hundred. Oh, yeah. I'm going to buy the all Pokeballs with that. Now, is there a way to like sort these? Drift bloom, drift bloom. Okay. Why are they all together in Hasbro? Okay. <clears throat> we have attack down, special defense up. Uh, attack up, speed down. Neutral. Special attack down, special defense up. And that's it. Let's go neutral, baby. All right. It's a good choice. That's what I would have chose. Actually, I can keep Z Zubat for now until until we get uh, the Roserade, which is what I'm going to do next. I, I got a feeling that they're over by the Diamond Clan place. Yeah, let's let's fast travel over to the Heights at least. At the same time, I have to keep an eye out for these last satchels here. Because that's going to allow me to evolve many, many different Pokemon. They have like all the fire, water, wood, leaf, stones, and they have like linking cables and metal coats and all the shit you need. Just very expensive. Well, you need to find like 
probably 12 loss packages, 12 to 15. Because you need a thousand, each one is like 50 to 100. Okay, we gotta run straight down here, okay. Satchel. Oh, look at this, guys. So they told me about this yesterday. Apparently there's these rifts in space-time. You can use Metal Coat to get scissors, son. I already got crack Cracker or whatever his name is. Cleavor. So these space-time continuums, you go into them, the, po the Pokemon are harder and there could be different ones there. Red Shard, Sunstone, oh baby. What the hell, Lickton Onyx? Red Shard. Ow. Why you do me like this, Lickitung? We gonna catch his Lickitung ass. He's level 30. Oh my god, double edge. Oh. He's gonna kill himself before I can even catch him. And me in the process. Oh, I use rest? Well, I'm gonna use rest. Considering that sleep is only half the time. See, I'm only drowsy. Bulldoze. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Uh, Cleaver? Level 30 is pretty rough for my team right now. Aerial Ace. I mean, Silver Wind, I guess. Oh, he went to sleep again. Dude, he's a monster. He must he must get more HP back, because no, but Rest is a psychic move. We're gonna do a strong Silver Wind. Too drowsy to move. We're gonna do another one. Hopefully this doesn't crit. Oh, so close. Oh, he used rest again. Dude. Yeah, I'm gonna use Aerial Ace. Hope it just doesn't kill him. This Cleavor's attack is massive. Okay. Aerial Ace again. Please don't kill him. Okay. Too drowsy to move, we might get him this time. There's also Onyxes around, and I could use a Metal Coat to get Steelix. Lickitung. There's actually an Onyx right over there. Oh, he's right there. Jesus, if I fight this Onyx, I'm probably gonna die. He's super effective against Cleaver. <laughs> the only good Pokemon. Oh my god, it's two of them at the same time. Feeling pretty tired, so I'm gonna go to bed. Good luck with your stream, yo. Thanks, man. Have a good sleep. Get some rest, cause you're gonna have some Sekiro tomorrow. You're gonna have your balls on a pretzel all tomorrow. 
<laughs> Cleaver grew drowsy. Annex used bulldoze. Cleaver fainted. Uh, Luxio can use ice. Hypnosis again? Oh my god, this is a horrible team to fight against. Two versus one. Okay, we're gonna have to kill. Well, I don't wanna kill him, but. Oh, we got Frostbite. What the hell is Frostbite? Alright, we're using the Pokeball. That's it, you cut Alex. Kind of screwed. If I can, actually, if I can bite him, he's level 36, and I'm asleep. I'm dead. You're too bad. You're my last hope. Hypnosis. Oh, you sped him. He hypnosed him. Oh my god. Oh. He powered through the drowsiness. Kitten. What the hell killed me? Bite? Oh my god, the Zubat's monster. Dude, he's, he's gonna kill a level 36 hunter at level 14. There ain't no way. Oh, he's too drowsy to move. Let it be known, he would have won that fight if he wasn't too drowsy to move. Confusion. It's my last hope. Oh, yeah, it's better. Oh, he did it. Drifloon. Drifloon. He's so clutch. He got all that experience, bro. He's level 18 now. He got like four levels from that. <laughs> oh my god, it's an Eevee and a Lickitung. Let's get the stuff on the ground. I don't really want to get in a fight here. I don't have space. That's not good. Let's get rid of something. Experience candies. Oh, I'll go into the drift loon. What level does he evolve at in this game, owner? Green shard. Oh my god. You're gonna make more room. Did I just see. Oh, that was a Del Caddy. 28. Hmm. I don't think I need this. Cause that's just for making uh, like X oh my god, it's a, it's a weevil. What the hell? It's gonna blow my head up. Oh Leafian. Alright. <laughs> We're gonna faint for this <laughs> our only chance. Oh, he survived. Because he was a ghost. The tackle went right through him. I get one chance at this. Throw a Pokeball to Leafy in. Come on. Come on. Oh. 
It's over. Be fine, use Mimic? He has Mimic? Oh, we got another chance. There's no way this works, right? Ain't no way this works. No, he's game. Slash, oh my god, there's three of them on Drifloon and they can't kill him. He's a monster. There's only one thing to do. We're gonna have to hypnotize. If they don't kill me, I might actually be able to catch him. This is the clip. <laughs> this is the clip right here. Come on. Oh. Maybe I gotta hurt him a little bit. Chewie drives him move. He's looking around. Looking around. Ah, uh, confusion. Defensive stats for return to normal. Oh, use Leaf Blade. I survived a critical hit. Dude, how tanky is this Drifloon? Go, Pokeball! My only chance. Ah, oh, come on. He grew enraged. Oh my god, his stats went up. Baby doll eyes. Fast offensive stats were lowered. Rock slide. Oh, it's over. It's over. GG's. No more Pokemon. We gotta run. Wood. Nice. I actually needed wood. Oh my god, it's Lickitung's evolved form. What is this madness? Okay, Sne Sneasel, that's not too bad. Stardust, Blue Shard. I think something's happening, I think it's going away. I just got hit by lightning or something. It could be them trying to attack me though. I don't have any Pokemon, I can't do anything. I can't pick up items off the ground. Well, I can't like harvest rocks or trees, is what I mean to say. That's ah, over now. Wow, well that was productive. Oh. We gotta run back. There we go. Okay, that was pretty fun. Not gonna lie, that was really fun. But I feel like it takes a while to get to that point, you know? Where it's like... There's like a lot going on and you're like intrigued by it. Rest. We gotta get Cody's Rose Raid. It must have been in the morning. Because I feel like Rose Raid to be in the morning. Mm. I know exactly what it looked like, but I have no idea where it was. Grand Tree Arena, maybe it's down there. This seems right. Bonnery.
It's almost nighttime. It's not a good time to find them. But I feel like this is where you would find them. Not exactly here, but somewhere around here. Also, what the hell is in this tree, you wonder? Hair across? No. Combi. Is it a female? No. If you survive the silver wind, I shall catch you. Oh, looks like you're getting caught. Mm, I close my window. One sec. you. Dude, it must be close to here. Okay, where is the heartwood? Maybe it's over there. That's just a geo, dude. I don't even care about that. There's actually a last satchel in the heartwood. We should go over there. There's one there and there's one there. Oh, I'm gonna drown. Oh, I drowned in like water up to my nipples. Come on, dude. I was almost out of the water when I drowned. Cloud Scythers. Three of them. I should catch another one so I can turn it make a scissor. I thought Scythers had like a low chance of being a girl. I've only come across girls so far. Bigger, I bet you he's a male. Yep. Curse slash. Please don't die. Oh, he's dead. So the males are bigger than the sight their species.
Oh my god, it's an alpha gold bat. Get away from me. Oh no, I fell out of cliff. Whoa, it's an alpha magikarp in the water. Do you think I can fight him? Go Zubat. Go Zubat. No, he's just out of reach. Uh. Wait, what's this? Balloon race? I gotta look this up. Or I'll be running around forever. Where to find Rosalia in Pokemon Arceus? Cloudpool Ridge, just south of the Brave Arena. The second Pokemon Noble. So that's not even on this map. We go to the second map. <laughs> I see most limiting. I'll update your Pokedex with the new information. Ah, I'm three three star now. Yes, have you made progress on your research task? If you have progress to report, I will judge it worthiness. Show me the Pokedex. Judge its worthiness. We've made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you have officially attained the rank of third star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. You can now use Great Balls. Pokemon of up to level 40 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. Jeez, this goes all the way up to 100. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now too. Have this as well. It is a further, it is a further recipe you'll need for crafting. You earned the recipe for making Great Balls. Nice, they're not that expensive. With the current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. You know your mission? Investigate Fire Spit Island. Oh, there are some requests posted on the blackboard. Which one will you check? Playing with Drifloon. Seems several people have spotted a Drifloon playing with one of the village children. Miki from the Security Corps can tell you more. Speak with her and get to the bottom of this. It's a special Drifloon request. We're gonna have to do it. Uh, do I have enough to upgrade this? Teach me. Teach me. Oh no. Screw you. 3,000? Away from me. Okay, so we need to get Rosalia before we move on to the third area. And 
I'm not sure what else. Ah, if it isn't Sin. Oh, the Drifloon request. Hey, it's Leon. Though I suppose it'd be t expected that I'd run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? Uh, the Fire Spit Island? Oh, Fire Spit Island. Perhaps you'll run into Palina. She's in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden, and yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. A piece of advice, then, as an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones, which hold mysterious power. With the right stone, you can evolve some Pokemon. You need to look no further than Cleavor for proof of that. What I'm trying to say is basically this. If you and the Survey Corps want to learn all there is to know about the Pokemon of this region, then the stones you find throughout Husboy will be very important. There's even a tale of a stone that contains the power of creation, the very same power Almighty Sinath used to create the universe. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and not underestimate how patient important stones can be. To help grind this fact into you, here, I, I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I found. You obtained two grit pebbles. A mysterious pebble that can raise the effort value, or effort level, of one of your Pokemon stats. It can be used only if the effort value is at least level 6 and no greater than level 8. You obtain three sacks of grit gravel. Mysterious gravel that can raise the effort value of one of your Pokemon stats. It can be used only if the effort value is at least three and no greater than five. And should you want some stones that can help your Pokemon evolve, I believe the Ginkgo Guild has them from time to time. Oh, the Ginkgo Guild. Let's just check that out. Let's see if they got any. Care to peruse our rarities? Dire Shroom. Okay, yeah. I already seen all this. Wait, can I sell to you? Oh, I can't. But I got an item box with an Ultra Ball in it? What the fuck? found. Passing this. So we're at 200. How many merit points do we need for a Lincoln cable? Reaper cloth. Metal coat protector. Electron electrizer. Magmarizer, Upgrade, Dubious Disc, Lincoln Cord. Wow, there's so many stones here. Oval Stone. Rare Candy. Wow, it's an actual picture of a rare candy. An ancient rare candy. It's like a big hard rock. Okay, so let's go to Bidu Town. ground is all screwed up around here still <laughs> so we're on the right path <laughs> I 
I'm gonna have to come back here during the morning. There's a lot of gas leaves around here right now. I don't think this is the right place though. We need to go to the forest part of this map. Caravan. Pears. Ghastly. Oh, it's one of the unknowns. Wait, wasn't I supposed to throw something out? He told me to do something with them. Wait, let me look this up. What do you do with unknowns in Pokemon Arceus? Toss a Pokeball out to catch it. That was going to be my next thing I was going to try, but... I know level 25. Oh, it's a Tangela. Can I catch him, I wonder? Are they fighting him? Quick attack. He's too stunned to move. Do another quick attack. Okay, he's, got, he's in a hard hitting stance. He's agile style. Quick attack. Maybe we can get two in. Yep. It worked. Now, let's catch him. Tangela. Cop. Hey, thanks for this. The raid, Aorta. How's it going, guys? We're just chilling with some Pokemon Arceus. How'd your stream go? We were glitched out on Fallout 4 and found a command to fix it, thankfully. Ah, Fallout 4. That game's really fun. I need to go back and play it with the, the new update and everything. I played it when it first came out a long time ago. Let's 
Say you there, could you lend me a hand? I was on my way here from Ireland's camp when this alpha hippodon came after me. I got away, but I dropped a charm I was carrying. And now I can't find it anywhere. I've just got to have it back. If you find a charm lying in the swamp, could you bring it back to me? The explosions are really nice with the new update. Oh yeah? That's cool. I got a 2k monitor now too. So explosions look really good. Compared to what I'm, what I'm used to. 1080p. And now they got all these high resolution texture packs and stuff for the new the old games. So it's actually a pretty cool time to be gaming. There's a couple games I've been meaning to go back and try. Or replay, I should say. We're looking for a Bidu. And I think I remember where it was. Diamond Settlement. Um. Well, there's probably four. I wanted to do that one. And then uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, because the new Dragon Age is coming out soon. And uh, I'm not sure, I haven't really thought about it too much. There's always Skyrim, but I don't know if I can get into Skyrim again. You just did Dragon Age Inquisition? Yeah, was it good? Again. Ain't no way I can do Skyrim again unless they release something cool. Yeah. I, like, I don't know. I think they should just, like... Either make it modern. Like, you know, faster frame rate and... Add an expansion to it or something. Or just hurry up with the, the new one. <laughs> Avowed will be good though, when it comes out. I'm really looking forward to Avowed. That's Obsidian too. Aha, here's Roselia, finally. Yeah, me too. Avowed is death on my list. Did you see the new trailer for it at Gamescom? Or whatever it was? It might have been PC. No, no, it was probably Gamescom. It looks so good. Now, I don't want to kill this thing. Let's do a Strag style quick attack. Oh, dude, the new trailer looks amazing. It's only like a couple minutes long, but it's definitely worth watching. It's like, you get to see the spells and stuff and the explosions and it just looks so nice. You get to see like a little bit of the world and stuff, right? The enemies and stuff like that. I watched it on stream, it was pretty cool. Pretty chill stream. Go ahead and make some late dinner, we'll be lurking. Sounds good dude, have a good dinner. No, I'm poisoned. I should make some great balls. I just learned the recipe for them. Oh, Mass Effect is another one I was thinking about doing. Another old game I was thinking about playing again. <laughs> they, did, they redid Mass Effect the first one. That game's actually really good. I think you'd like that one, some cat. Maybe you wouldn't, though. <laughs> Mass Effect is very story-driven, but the, the actual gameplay itself is really fun. Like doing a battle and like determining what happens in the story and all that stuff. I had a lot of fun with it. Oh, we lost Kuilaba here. This Roselia does not want to get into Pokeball. Hmm? 
Come on. Yeah. Got a Roselia. Maybe we should catch some more though. Because I want to get one with a decent nature. Roselia's keeping his guard up, ran away. Can we catch him? Are they not? Oh my god, it's a Roserade. Uh, okay, let's try to catch this real fast, like this. That's a back shot, that's easy. Nice. Now, do I have enough to make great balls? No, I need apricorns. I don't know if I can catch this thing. I might be able to. It depends on what level it is, really. The Alpha Rose Raid is filled with wild might. Use poison jab. Oh, uh oh. He's level 50. Oh, we gotta run from this, guys. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, that's not the right run button. Yeah, yeah, run. I don't think you can fail to run away unless they like kill you. I guess the, your actual player. So Oh no, he's after me. Let me alone. I just want to throw out this one. I guess I don't need lock on to throw. Oh no. <laughs> he didn't get in the Pokeball. Alright, alright. We're going to have to do this the hard way. Luxio evolves at 30 to- oh my god. If it evolves at 30, doesn't he? He should evolve soon. Uh, this is bad. I'm gonna have to use Agile style. Just to outspeed him. Good job, Luxio. Cleavor is okay, I guess, for this. I'm not going to be able to catch very many of these because they're actually hard to catch with Pokeballs. Oh, I should have had False Wipe on this guy, but it's, it's, it's not worth it just for catching. I'll just use an extra Pokeball. <laughs> Man. Yeah. I wonder if I threw a Pokeball at the Roserade when I catch it. I got my doubts. Oh, let's try it. Oh! Oh no, I broke it immediately. Can we catch another one? Check out our Roselia's pick out the best one now. This is not a camp. That's a boss arena. Um 
I could use a rest. Uh, just a little while. You should let me swap my Pokemon in too. Yep. Attack down, speed up. Um, defense down, special defense up. Neutral or neutral. Okay, which one has better IVs? I think this one's a little bit better. So, we got our Rosalia. Now, let's actually go to a new area. I could use some Africorns too. Because you use those to make great boss. Let's see, I'll see if I can buy some in 10. into the village. The music here is awesome. Why would I want a nano berry set? I mean, it probably does something amazing and I keep saying no to it. Um, is there any apricots here? I don't think there is. Darn. I'll take it. Ten nano berries. They better be useful for something. What's this? Oh yeah. That's yeah, a pokey dog. Oh, he sells crafting materials. That's actually huge. Let's get like 50 of these. And then, uh, got a bunch of iron chunks. Tumblestone. And I, sh I got 87 of those. Okay, I'm not buying any more than. Should be a crafting bench here somewhere. It's right next to him. Okay, this is a great balls. Let's make like a bunch of these. 48 of them? Yeah. And then... Sky... Balls. What's this? Scatterbang. When thrown on the ground, these balls produce a loud noise and scare off weak Pokemon in the area, sending them running. Gotcha. So we just need one... Where are my Pokeballs? Oh, I gotta put all this stuff away. Starting to drive me crazy on these berries. I don't really need it in my inventory if I craft in town. So I'm just gonna move it all over. Because I think if you craft in town, it uh, pulls from the chest, which is actually really nice. I'm glad that uh, they decided to do that. <clears throat> as their first well it's not their first but it's their first action game right they've always had crafting but was, this is actually kind of nice this crafting system wait I got to take it 
what I need. Yeah, take all those. Take all these. Take this, just in case. And then, I guess that's it. Now, are you still there, Slump Cat? Because if you are, we can choose, um, go to the move tutor and teach Drift Bloom something. But if you're busy, we can do it after. Uh, Drifloom, we can teach him moves. Which ones do you want? Shadow Ball, Mystical Fire. Sorry if I'm going through it too fast. Yeah, <laughs> some of them are pretty good. Rest would probably be really good on him. Shadow Ball's a must, okay. I should've did them all at the same time. This might be pretty good on him. Cause it does 120, right? With, or no, it does whatever with the stab. It's probably like a hundred. And then there's Charge Beam, Icy Wind, Mystic Fire. I think you're out of Zenny. Oh yeah. I can sell Stardust though. And I got, actually I got a lot of stuff I can sell. Cause I haven't sold anything yet. I think this guy is a general store. Where's Stardust? Right here. I got seven of them. Seven thousand. Perfect. Icy wind might be good. Okay. Select. I'm gonna do icy wind. Do you want anything else? I guess you don't need to see those anymore. For coverage. Yeah, icy wind's pretty good. Mm, that's probably good. All right. Here we go. Yeah. There you go, Driftum's move. Full of moves has been expanded. What else can I do for you? Nothing in particular. Cody gets back tomorrow evening. Uh, I'll ask him what he wants on his Roserade. Wait, does Roserade take a Leaf Stone? I could farm at Merit Points. Whoa, this place looks nice. Don, I think. I have a Sunstone. Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands, a simply lovely corner of the Swoy, sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Shiny stone. Hmm, I don't think I have one yet. Water types or flying types, perhaps? Ooh, I simply can't wait to study them all. 
Now, I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to reach this area's Pokemon, but let's not forget that you've a mission to accomplish. So, any questions before you get started? About Fire Spit Island. Hmm, indeed. Fire Spit Island is an offshore volcano. You'll need to cross the sea to reach it. I'd advise you to speak to a fellow called Iskin. He's one of the Diamond Clan's wardens, and he will sh and will surely help you find your way. So I think we have to get a mount that knows surf, so we can uh, travel across the water in this place, which is really cool. Because then we can go back to the other maps and uh, check out some of the water types. Because we need like at least four more water types. I'd like to do some shopping. Okay, I don't want to buy any of that. Let's see what, uh, I forget what her name is, is doing. That's the celestial loot. I like how it's like just a pipe. <laughs> like you'd have under your sink. There's no holes in it or anything and it makes this most beautiful sand. They probably exist in real life to be honest. But I wonder what makes the sound. I do love the flute. It feels as if its tones carry to the very ends of space. But I am here and so are you. And now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. <laughs> I'm game? Or why? I'm game. Very good. You have seen the vast space beyond the rift. Here I come. Oh yeah. Glaceon? I didn't even know who my starter was. My, my lead team member. Oh, he one shot at me with Ice Beam. This is bad already. He outsped my Luxio. Ice, ice, ice. We're gonna have to go with fire. Wait, she's got an Eevee there too? She's cheating. Rock beats ice? Really? But he's bugged too, right? And he doesn't even have a rock move yet. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> he has Silver Wind, Air Cutter, uh, Air Slash, and something else. For some reason, I always thought that ice beat rock. Because in real life, ice gets between the rock and cracks it, right? Erosion, baby! But you're telling me you crush ice with rocks, huh? Could go either way, man. Ah, now I feel better. The world is vast, and I am small within it. Ice is super effective versus ground. Ah, oh, gotcha. See, that fucks me up. Because you got ice is good against ground, and then ice is good against... No. Ice is good against ground, and then rock is good against ice? Okay. You have to remember that. Ice is one of those types that messes with my brain. Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. There's that one and um, bug types. 
It's like, I never remember what, well, Bug's not so bad. Gran beats Rock. Okay, so Ice beats Gran, Gran beats Rock, and then Rock beats Ice. Gotcha. Alright, with you, I think, with you, I can be frank. I cannot afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander, but in truth, I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Paulina. Yeah, bug beats psychic, dark, and grass. See, it's the dark one that messes with me. And psychic, like why does bug beat psychic or dark? It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> but she tends no lord or lady and she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty I can't think of like a, a metaphor in my head for why bug would beat psychic or grass so I can't remember it like okay bug beats grass I get it caterpillar eats grass you know to grow up I get it right but psychic and dark where did that even come from Raise his successor to fill the late lord's empty seat, either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. Paulina, that is to say, Paulina, she's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. Psychic is scared of bugs and gets psyched out. <laughs> oh. But what about dark? We were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask of you. Please, help her raise the Pokemon she's lo she looks after into a true heir to his father, the late Lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord's heir would grow into a worthy successor. And if he succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know if anyone I'd trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleavor's frenzy. Dark is called the evil type in original Japanese. Oh. Evil type, okay. Bugs are not advanced enough to be evil, so they're super effective against... Because they can't be turned evil. Okay. Is that why normal types are good against Dark too? No, that's Ghost. So, okay, so why does Ghost not affect normal? Explain that one. You'll be able to find Lena up on the headband. Head down this hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading up onto the ridge. Oh my god. It's those things. I forget what they're called. Ghosts can only touch other ghosts and can't interact with the real world. That's not true because ghosts are can... can... Wait. Isn't Ghost super effective against Psychic, and Psychic is super effective against Ghost? That's not right either, is it? Because that messes with me too. Because it's Ghastly. Ghastly screws with me. Because Psychic is good against Ghost. Or Ghastly, because he's poison. Right? Ghost is the... It's SE against Psychic. Super effective against Psychic, but... Neutral the other way around. Neutral. See, that don't make no sense. It should be not very effective. <laughs> okay, so I gotta think, I gotta think of another one. Why is Fairy good against Dragon? Actually, here's a better question. Why is dragon immune? Or why is fairy immune to dragon? 
That's what I should say. Not the super effective part. Why are they immune to dragon? In original RBY, Psychic is immune to Ghost. LMFAO. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I can remember... I can remember Psychic and Ghost being like... Like Gengar and, Al and Alakazam were like rivals. Either one of them could win. Is this who, whoever went first? You know what I'm saying? So, in my brain, it was always like, oh, they can kill each other. Just who goes first? In every situation. But it's, no, it's only in that one situation with Alakazam and, G and Gengar. And then, and then, when I finally got it straight in my head, they're like, ah, we're gonna throw Dark into the game. And I was like, oh my god, now I have no idea what's going on with Bug and Psychic. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, well, when, the fairy is not too bad, because I actually used the fairy type. So I knew what it was good against, most bad against. For the most part. Oh, it's, it's glam now thing. Easy way to remember what the easy way to remember what is good against psychic is that psychic is weak to common fears. Fear of dark, fear of ghosts, fear of bugs. Uh oh. Oh, it's, it's his boy Growlithe. Ra wa wa. Hush now. Settle down. I am Paulina of the Pro Clan, and who might you be? Another rock type for the team. Let's go. Yeah, you're right. That's actually a good idea. Ah, so you're that child from the Galaxy team. I heard how you aided Cleavor and Lilligant when none other could quell their frenzy. Your strength must be amazing, and yet you have such a gentle face. So what brings you to Cobalt Coastlands? We have no lord here, much less a frenzied one for you to quell. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. He was rescuing his young pup when he had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life. Oh my god, that's sad, sad as hell. To ensure the pup's safe return. If you were to guess, which one of these Gryloths would you say is the previous Lord's child? It's a small one, isn't it? Oh, you have quite a good eye. This quiet, skittish Gryloth is the child of, a, of the previous Lord. Wow. Do they evolve? They evolve into Arcanine, right? I have no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars in his heart. Jesus, this is deep as hell. There are those who expect me to train him more strictly and force the lordship upon him before he is ready. But, but I could never bring myself to do that. No matter what the rest of the Pearl Clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one's side and let him live his life as he wishes. So now what you know our situation So now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? I'm here to help the air. Ah, did Iridia ask you to intervene perhaps? I appreciate the kind gesture, truly, but I'm afraid this matter simply does not concern you. So now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? Didn't I just tell her I wanted to be help there? Okay, I'll go make for the Fire Spit Island. They surveyed the Fire Spit Island. I see. There are rumors of places haunted by strange shadows these days. You'll need the aid of a Pokemon known as Basculegion if you wish to cross the ocean or the sea. You should speak to Iskan, a warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. There's definitely something strange happening out on Fire Spit Island. 
Those shadowy figures are concerning, of course. And then there's also the odd lightning that came from the rift in the sky. Lightning is a sign that the heavens are angry. I worry that we have, we may have offended Almighty Sina somehow. In the past, the Pearl Clan and Diamond Clan were locked in conflict over which side revered the true Almighty Sina. Even if we've reached an uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sina must be angered because there are still those who worship a false image of it. But I digress. I do apologize. Iskan lives on A Palm Hill, just past Ginkgo Landing. I imagine you'll find him there. Wow. <laughs> so I guess she doesn't want me to help her right now. Off to Iskan to help his ass. Oh, it's a Vulpix. Uh, isn't there a Haswai Vulpix? Haswai, Haswai. 31, wow. My Pokemon are really far behind, dude. The wild Pokemon are level 31, they're like 5 levels higher than me. Oh, what the hell is that, a Mopham? <laughs> the name of it. Yeah, it is a map. I was right. He's unaware and too stunned to move. That's a chance for the great ball. Get in that Pokeball. The great ball looks sick in this game. Got like red, red war paint on top of it. What's this guy want? I just want it to be helpful. Eco. Ah, aren't you the Survey Corps member who quelled the Lady of the Ridge? Well, listen. To this, a couple of APOM stole my pack of full of gold goods. I said that wrong. Well, listen to this. A couple of APOM stole my pack of full of goods. Ah, there they are. They've been darting around, leading me on a chase, almost like they're teasing me. I haven't got a hope of catching them. You must be used to dealing with Pokemon. Can you get my backpack from those Apom? Ah, uh, maybe. I can certainly try. So, Weirdeer must be pretty good then, because he's normal and psychic, which makes him immune to ghost, right? Psychic like cancels out the normal weakness to fighting. So then, from the normal side, you're not weak to anything. Basically. I think I gotta throw something at these guys, do I? No. Oh. Oh my god, he just tore Luxio's head off, and then he became obscured. Okay, I do have Stealth Rock on Cleavor, so I'm going to try that. That should smack these Apoms pretty hard. I should have used Strong Style. Oh, this, he missed because he was obscured. Mud Bomb. So, 
mud bomb obscures them and not the person you're attacking. So it's basically double team with damage. Is that what you're telling me right now? That's broken as hell. Strong stealth rock. Take that. In palm. Oh no, he's right. Another weird thing about this game is like, I didn't think Stealth Rock did damage when you used it. I thought it just did damage after. It's too strong. Aerial attack. Aerial ace. He's gonna kill Cleaver. No. Yep. Leave or no. This is why my Pokemon have no experience. <laughs> I'm going to revive everybody before I end this. Yeah, let's get Cleaver back. Hopefully he doesn't kill me here. Oh, he missed. Dude, Roselia is like Ultra Instinct right now. The power is doubled if you have stat if the target has a status effect. So I should probably put stun on him. Cause I don't actually lose a turn for that. So this is going to do double. And in fact, I'm going to gain turns because everyone after is going to double. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He's dead anyway, but... Hell yeah. Roselia coming in clutch. Well, well. I see you chase down the A-Palm. And my goods are all safe. Thanks. Thank goodness. How can I repay you? Let me think. Aye. What's gotten into you looking so meek all of a sudden? Are you actually feeling remorseful? Aye, aye. Aye, alright, alright. No hard feelings. Just stop it with the sad look. You're making me feel bad. Aye. I just hope you've learned your lesson. No more pranks. Please. Oh, come on. You couldn't even wait till I was done scolding you? <laughs> aye, aye. They took my pinup berries. I was saving those for later. This goes to show you can't let your guard down around Pokemon. They'll tear your face up. Ooh, it's a dust ox. Oh my god. Leave me alone. Paris Evan tried to kill me from behind, dude. We call Paris Evan because my friend Slumcat here ever does nuzzle lock runs and uh, we named the Paris after a friend in real life. <laughs> it's kinda like an inside joke. Dust ox. Level 32, my god. That's the highest level dust axe I've ever seen, I think. Now the question is... How can I hurt him without killing him? I'm gonna use Fire Fang, because you know what? He's so strong, he's probably not gonna die from that. And I got Great Balls, so I can probably catch him with his health. Is Doesn't have to be all the way all the way down to catch him. I mean, say, maybe it does. It's no good. He escaped. Oh, Luxio.
Mastery killed Luxio. Leveling is actually really hard in this because... Well, if you're trying to main your lead Pokemon, I mean level your lead Pokemon, there's a good chance you dodge for you kill a wild Pokemon. I need to do some leveling. Really bad. If I find some Pokemon that are- oh, it's a Drift- Drift, uh, Loom Evolved form. I forget what they're called. Oh no, he's dis- I thought he disappeared because time changed, but no, he's still there. Ah, uh, just out of curiosity. Of course he turned. Okay, okay, you wanna fight? Let's go. I shouldn't have used Psychic. But, uh... Why don't you get this Hypnosis out? He avoided it. Drift Blim. I can actually catch him. Okay, now he's hypnos hypnotized. Oh, Calm Mind looks sick in this game. Okay, wait now. Pokemon. Hmm, what do we need to use here, guys? What is he? Ghost. Um, let's go eat. Rosalia seems pretty, pretty solid right now. Mind. Oh, no good. I should have did some damage first. Oh, he's got mystical fire. Oh my god, he tore Rosalia's head off. Try an ember here. He's got like five levels on my starter Pokemon, it's not good. And better stats too, probably. To boot. Oh my god, he's got extra sensory. Okay, his stats are returned to normal. It's Cleaver's turn. Let's do an Agile style Aerial Ace. Can't miss this fast. Oh, Fire Hex. Now we're gonna use our Drifting. Items. Great ball. Hopefully this works. Yep. I gotta drift them. Oh my god, a Skaroopy. It's a Drapion, bruh. Alpha. I don't know about this. Oh, he's angry anyway. We'll fight him. Oh, he's got hypnosis too. Perfect. Oh my god. Killed him. Oh, 
Hopefully that catches him. Nice. Oh no, that aggroed me. I was wondering how they all see me. Oh, it's the spiel. Catch you. Disappeared on me. Where's my camp here? Oh my god, there's lost satchels everywhere. Better get some of these lost satchels. Do I raise a drapion, some cat? Hell yeah, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> I gotta change my Pokemon out when I get to the nearest uh, camp. Is that a shiny? Holy shit, it's a shiny. Dude. Shiny Apom. I repeat. <laughs> Okay. We're on DEFCON 4, because uh, I only got two Pokemon. A Ambi Palm is a god is god tier, okay. Is that who is that who's why? No. What what generation is that bro? I gotta revive all my guys while Drifloom is out. Is that giving me the best chance of surviving, I think? I don't even know if he can hurt Drifloom. Mud Bomb is normal? No, he's flying. Oh, yeah. He definitely can't. He can't hurt Drifloom with anything. I just hope I don't kill him. Oh, that's scary as hell. Do I do it again? Okay, I'm gonna do an agile style just in case. Please don't kill him. I can't look. Oh, thank God. I thought for sure it was gonna be critical. Okay. Should I use, I'm gonna use the Ultra Ball. Because, I mean, what else are you going to use an Ultra Ball on? Yeah. Ambipom and Drapion, dude. Shiny Ambipom and Drapion. Now, I'm going to give you the chance to claim the Shiny Ambipom as your Pokemon. Or do you want to keep your Drifloom? Okay, this is my <laughs> Okay. I think this is a camp, so let's talk to this guy and then we can pull him out. Shiny Ambi. Hell yeah. Why, hello there, Mr. Sin. Fancy running into you out here. Me? Oh, I'm on the hunt for some plates. How's your plate hunting going, young friend? Eh, so so I guess. No need to be so humble, I see you've already got your hands on four plates. 
You gain plates when you quell frenzied nobles, and when a great Pokemon recognizes you as worthy of bearing. Isn't that right? The way you've been collecting those plates, it reminds me of the ancient hero, the one that's said to have battled against Almighty Sinath. You know, I've been wondering, the ten Pokemon that are said to have followed the ancient hero, their powers are supposed to be, they're supposed to have come from Almighty Sinath itself. Why would they seek to challenge Almighty Sinath along with the hero then? Perhaps we'll get some answers once we gather all the plates. Almighty Sinath is a bad guy, dude. Well, let's both do our best to find more. But please, don't overexert yourself. I'd hate for something to happen to one of our guild's loyal customers. Yeah, this is definitely a camp. I, I hope it's a camp. <laughs> do, do I have a visitor? Uh, I'll be right out. Give me a moment. Dude, he sounds like me. It's like, what? Someone's here? So, um... I'm Iskin of, of the Diamond Clan. Oh my god, he looks like Cody. A Galaxy Team member with a Celestical Flute? Uh, oh, you must be Sin, right? Ha have I done something to warrant your visit? Yes. Well, sudden visits give me quite a shock. I do hope you'll give me advance notice in the future. So, um, why are you here? I need Basque Legion's aid. So, you you want to go to Fire Spit Island? Well, if you insist, then you'd probably need Basque Legion's favorite snack. That should help him warm up to you. But preparing his favorite, uh, it's um, more than a little difficult. More like impossibly high hurdle. Or really just impossible. If I'm being honest. How so? Uh, I'll tell you. I had the right materials, but... But then you, well, you see... The next part is something I could never manage. But you need to catch this one Pokemon that appears at night. Go on. You, you, you really want to know? You really don't value your own life, do you? It's duh, 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 dust clops. Oh, even saying its name fills me with dread. So the materials for the food have to be imbued with flavor by Desclops Dark Pulse. That's the only way you can make Basque Legion's favorite food, you see. Got it. We'll catch this Desclops. Wow. If everyone in the Galaxy Team- Is everyone in the Galaxy Team like you? Your nerves aren't just steel, they're... Titanium! It's positively frightening how... Um... Fearless you are. D -d 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 uh, I can't say it. Well, Pokemon, I need his only one eye and can be found wandering around Deadwood Hunt. Uh, Deadwood Hunt is the area you that looks like a hand on your map. You'll know you're there when you find the wrecked boats. I. I try to ha very hard to avoid those one-eyed Pokemon, and so now I know all about them. You see, w would you like to wait here until night when the Pokemon appears? Yes, I'll wait. Well then. Um, I guess I can't switch. It's not a camp. This is his camp. D did you bring it? You know, the Pokemon with the name that sounds like a d dust blops? That, um, dust pops. I guess you don't have it with you. He <laughs> can't say it anymore. Okay, hold on. I think. Can I fast travel here? No. 
Okay. We'll have to put on shiny and a palm after. Actually, I don't have many. Oh my god, these are like painted. I might have to go back. Oh my god, there's an ambi palm right there. So the question is, how do you evolve ambi palm? Or a palm into ambi palm? Oh, there's alpha ambi palm. Oh, happening. Whoa, this could be a game changer. It needs to gain level while knowing double hit. Okay. I remember now. It might already have double hit because a lot of the other ones already have it. Oh my god, it's a level 40 happening. What in God's name is happening here? Does he have an Evobolite or something? Or whatever they're called. <laughs> oh, he ran away. We gotta actually sneak up on these guys. Makes sense, I guess. Cop. Very nice. Okay, so I think we can go back and switch out our Pokemon and heal up first. Yep, just a little while. And then I want to see my Pokemon. I'm going to put Scroopy instead of Oh god, this is a hard decision. Kadabra's gonna evolve soon, and so is Luxio. Hmm. Well, we know Ambipom is gonna replace Drifloom, even though Drifloom has been really good so far. Well, I gotta use the bathroom. Help me think about this while I'm gone. I'll be right back a sec. I've been streaming for four hours, so I'm also making coffee. Taking my little break while we figure this out. Um, so Ambipalm, he does have double hit, so we just have to level him once. And then... I want to keep Cleavor, and I want to keep Kilava. So they're like... They gotta stay. Kadabra, I can get rid of Kadabra for Scorpy, Scroopy. And I can get rid of Luxio for Drifloom. But now, we have, Ro we have Roselia. I need to evolve her, or she's gonna be like, fall off pretty quick here. Um, 
Let's see if I have even have a shiny stone. I don't think I do. Sunstone. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that was not a shiny stone. Oh, my bad. Yeah, I was playing Tyrus Land earlier. I'll probably play it again tomorrow. Thanks for the tip, Award. So oh, I can evolve him right now. You ready for this? We're gonna evolve the shiny A palm. Oh yeah. He looks pretty cool actually. He doesn't look like I what does a normal one look like? He looks normal to me, but I, I forgot there's I have to make the Pokedex. Normal one's dark purple, I figured that. Out. He's pretty cool. I should look at his uh, attack down speed up. That's interesting. I wonder if we can change that. At least the speed is really high. He could be like double lapping people, dude, with agile style. He's just normal, huh? Now, nah, Scroopy, when does he turn into Drapion? And Drift Bloom. Oh, I got three Pokemon in the Evolve. Maybe we'll do a little a few battles. I gotta make my coffee now too oh I thought that was a shiny wormadin for a second but it's not you avoided it what's going on no one can hit each other So, this thing's gonna be a monster with Mud Bomb, dude. Never gonna lose another fight again. Dude, he dodged me, and then he hit me. Well, I'm the one using Mud Bomb here. That's it, you got Wormadon. King's Leaf. I don't know what that does. Let's see what that does. No, he got away. I don't really want to fight him right now. I have to do the story quest before I run out of HP. But I do need the level. There's 
pony everywhere here. What happens if I send someone at the tree? Do I get wood? No. Because I need one more piece of wood from somewhere. To make a pokey doll for a quest. Okay, that's a regular one. This is mine. It's pretty cool. I wonder if I'm trying this thing. Level 50. Okay, he just doubled his attack power. We're getting out of here. Yep. <laughs> He's run away. Alright, which were we get transported to wherever this guy brings us. I'm gonna go make my coffee and I'll be right back. Jeez, at this rate, I'm gonna have to get, uh, invest in a coffee pot. Did you bring it? You know, the Pokemon with a name that sounds like, um, oh. You don't transport me there, I gotta go there myself. I understand now. Hmm. 
Still getting with some controller drift. Honestly, where did he get off to? Excuse me. Have you seen a fellow from the construction corps named Yorick? No, I haven't. Nah, this hopeless one. Where could he have gone? Or this is hopeless. <laughs> I don't know how I read that this hopeless one. Would you mind helping me track him down? I'll be waiting a little further ahead. Please come see me when you have a moment. Sometimes I think I'm dyslexic. <laughs> A lot of things we've already seen before. Beauflaws, Psyduck, Sterebius. Oh. It's these parrot things, I forget the name of. Chatot? Is that his name? If I do remember correctly. He almost says it. Chatot! Chat it is. I don't know, is he good? I've never I don't think I've ever used that Pokemon in any game. I, I took one look at his stats and I was like, nope. In Diamond and Pearl you can record your voice on your DS and he'll say it when he does his signature move. That's pretty cool. I can I can almost remember that. You can make him say slurs and stuff. That's pretty funny. Well, I guess... <laughs> it would be funny unless you were using it against the person that it was a slur against. Get him, Zillia. Dude, I need to teach Cleave or a, a rock move and Roselia like some better grass moves. I got a Firestone! What was I just fighting? Because we need to farm that. What can I use the Firestone for? I got an Eevee. Crowlith. If that's how it, he might he might evolve a different way. Hell ye. Hell ye, hell ye. Paul, Paul Revere, Riviere, Revere, whatever. I'm not American, so I don't know the names very well. The only question is. Where can I find those Desvoy Growlithe? Because she didn't want my help. She wanted Growlithe to grow up as a pussy, right? <laughs> pop, pop pods. I think this is what that guy needed. Pop pods, yeah. Oh shit, I can't swim. I forgot. I thought I could jump it, but... You know what would be really good though? 
They should they should just make like Grand Theft Auto Pokemon. Like, like it, it they, they need to make it that free. Like you could just go, you can like steal someone else's Pokemon, and start riding it, and everything. Make it like Zelda. Oh, <clears throat> Pokemon. That would be sick. <laughs> I should have a sword I'm in one hand and a Pokeball in the other one. Riding whatever whatever uh, Pokemon I can get that I can, you know, that's big enough to put a saddle on, you know? PvP? Way into the death. Well, the character doesn't need to have weapons, but it would be cool. If you had Zelda sword play in a game like this, it would be nuts. Like, even a Zelda Souls-like game, like, you know how good that would be? All bosses, like, one after another. And, like, see, secret, uh, secret, like, ways to other places, you know? Yeah, they should put me in charge. I'll steal everyone's ideas and make a better game. <laughs> What am I looking for? I uh, do need to get this, but no, it's this. I need to go into the town. It's the all he told me is it looks like a hand, and you'll know it when you see shipwrecks. Oh my God, it's Chancy now. Yeah. I should at least catch Ch Chansey. Oh my god, that was so much experience. Oh, I know how you level in this game. Same way you level in Sword and Shield. <laughs> Fighting Chanseys. Oh no. She ran away. You can feed them. I've never actually thrown food at a Pokemon. <laughs> I feel like this is what you're supposed to do. This is just a dead end. I guess it's just for fighting the alpha. And then over here. That looks like fingers, I guess. I don't know. And there's a shipwreck. Let's see, I got another last satchel. This is a shipwreck. Oh, I gotta come here at night, don't I? No way. At least let me like set up a camp around here or something. Oh, what's your problem, lady? Oh, you're here. I've been waiting. Like I said, I need you to help find York in the construction corps. You and I came out here to set up a base camp. 
and then he went off on his own to get the lay of the land and hasn't come back. You are got to be still by, still be somewhere nearby. If you find him, please tell him to come back here already. <laughs> there's not really anywhere for him to be because there's no trees or anything. You can see him if he was a kilometer away. Where the hell are you, York? Just switch to the rest of it. I was trying to find someone you think to give me a scent. What is that in the water? Quillfish? Pumpkins. Oh no. They killed him. They killed my beautiful Ursa Luna. Oh no, I'm just in combat. Or something. And be time go. Swift. Ah, dodge the attack. Leaves the mud by oh no he's that was so stupid. I forgot he was flying. No, we're healing him up. My boy not dying today. Not only that we're gonna Actually no, we're gonna kill you first. I have to bring Cleavor back, he's not getting any experience. Oh, Drift Bloom can evolve. It's happening. Okay, wait, let me uh revive. Oh yeah. Evolve. Drift Bloom is ready to evolve. Got him, he's a monster. Confusion Psychic Astonish Calm Mind. I think it should go to the move raider with this guy. He's actually pretty solid. 200 health, 112 special attack, 100 attack, and 105 speed. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We just forgot to put on his moves. That's the problem here. I forgot you had to do this. So we're gonna get rid of Calm Mind. Get rid of Astonish. Now, do we actually want Calm Mind? Or Hex or Mythic Mystical Fire? Because we have Ghost, Ice, Psychic, and then Hypnosis. But we can get rid of Hypnosis. For something. Hex does insane damage if they have... Oh, so you can... Can he learn Will the Wisp? Well, no, but he has Hypnosis.
I could give hex instead of confusion. Go hypnosis confusion. I mean hypnosis hex. All right. Are you happy with the new moveset? Yes. Okay. Now, Scroopy, change moves. So Poison Sting, 30 damage. Yeah, he might learn it after, or I can probably teach it to him at some point. Cross Poison, that's pretty sick. Sword Dance, Finish Shock, Bite. I think we'll, we don't need Poison Sting. Now, Ambipom, change moves. I think I'm going to put Quick Attack on. Do we need Nasty Plot? Do we switch Quick Attack for Nasty Plot? So I'm not a, I'm not a big buffer kind of guy. So just no quick attack. Did we have abilities? Um, I don't know the answer to that, but I'm gonna check now. I'm gonna say no. I don't see it. That's actually sad. That's another thing they could improve on. And it'd be easy to do it too. If you took him out of this game, he would have uh, abilities though. Um, Roselia, let's do Roselia. This is just Poison Sting, too. And what about Cleavor? Okay, okay, we got some Sword Stance, Double Hits. Nah, screw that. Y'all learn some moves soon. What the hell is it on that island there, dude? It almost looks like a Pokemon. Or a person. You think it's the guy I'm looking for? 100% it's the guy I'm looking for. I can't save him yet. Well, I don't know about 100%, but there's a good chance. Because you'd think they'd give you a base camp before you... So then you could sleep, right? At night time. It's gonna be dark soon anyway, so... Might as well just wait. Let's see what's out here. Nothing? Break that. Oh, space time distortion has appeared. Let's go. It's so far away. Alright, we're gonna have to go back. 
sleep till actually I don't know if I should sleep or just space time though. We'll do the space time, then we'll come back and sleep. Then we'll go back, catch dust claps, finish the mission. If we can even survive this. Kind of going, skull, skull tank, where everything is, cadabra. Stardust, green shard, red shard, green shard, green shard. Stardust. Whoa, right on. Whoa. I went to catch you. I don't know if I can survive a ride on. I mean, we need to run out of rock type, right? <laughs> oh, he's level 43. Come on. Yeah. Paralyzed. He's Mimic? Oh no. He learned stuns for. What have I done? I've created a monster. Absorb. Oh my god. He's really bad against grass. He uses high horsepower. Oh my god, he just destroyed Rosalia. You'll be remembered, Rosalia. In the arms of the angel. Strong attack, aerial ace. Quick attack, not very effective. Stealth rock, super effective. Oh, game doesn't make sense. Oh, I'm dead. Drift loom. My only hope. Quick attack has no effect. You know what I'm going to do now, right? We're using the Hex. Please don't kill him. Oh, he dead as hell. Paralyzed from my own stun spore. Uh, I'm going to have to use Icy Wind, because he's normal. I should catch him and use the Firestone on him. Then I'll have a level 31 flare again. Because I could get another Firestone. Until I get Growlithe. I just gotta remember which, what Pokemon dropped it. Oh my god, let's go tank him, Mr. Mime. Uh, I don't know if I can handle that. Maybe if I get him apart somehow. There's Rhydon again. I don't even know if I want Rhydon if he died that easily to a level 29 Roselia. Oh, I got an Ice Stone. Okay, wait, that's a game changer, because now I can have... Now I got a level 31 Glaceon. What do you think, dude? Green Shard. Start it. Glaceon is sick, okay. Yeah, Glaceon is really good. I'm assuming, because I don't know what her moves are like in this game. But she's usually, she's probably a pretty goat. Eevee's always, oh my god, it's Alkazam. That's her chance. Drifflim. 
Level 33 Alkazam. Oh, trippy. Okay, we're gonna use Hypnosis. Should I use Hex? Oh, he paralyzed me. I thought you even survived this. Hmm, I'm gonna use Hex. Hopefully I don't kill him. Oh, it's super effective. Oh, never mind. He's dead as hell. See, I always forget. It was too late. I already pressed the button, sadly. Oh, you see, we didn't save my ass. Yeah. Oh, I'm paralyzed. Oh, he snacked me. I got crunched. It's groupy. Time to pull your weight, little one. Cross poison. Oh god, the game almost shut down with so much damage, couldn't calculate it. Scroopy just sent him into the atmosphere, just like Team Rockets, you know? Pikachu and Meowth. Oh my god, it's Rhyperior. No way, I got nothing to fight him. <laughs> Your Ambipom's gonna take a beat and uh Poor Ambipom. Oh maybe okay, mud bomb? Come on. Your only hope mud bomb. Game obscured. Oh he used mimic. Oh no, I've created a monster. <laughs> Slide. Couldn't dodge it. Okay, Scroopy. Come on, Scroopy. He used Iron Defense. Since when does Mr. Mime have Iron Defense? Uh, okay, this is bad. I don't even know why I use Scroopy here. Can I switch targets? Oh. <gasps> I can. Okay. Let's do a strong style. Actually, let's do an agile style bite. Agile style bite. Did nothing. Wait, why did it do nothing? Isn't he psychic? I thought Dark was good against psychic. I hate you, game. I hate you. I've been cheated, I've been screwed. Strong style, a cross poison. Oh, tore his head off. Hmm. Amazing, Scroopy. That'll do, pig, that'll do. Back in your ball. Oh, Mr. Mime is probably fairy now. Oh, oh, okay. I've been cheated, I've been screwed. I repeat. Like, how are you even supposed to calculate that in your brain? He's psychic fairy. Okay, what's that good and bad against? <laughs> like, good luck figuring that out in your brain. Oh my god, he's killing me! Oh, my Pokemon are dead. I almost died. Oh, I can revive him. I think steel would be super effective. Uh, yeah, for sure. But I'm thinking like, like just imagine the chart, 
Like, imagine all the things he's one quarter damage from, and half damage from, and double damage to, and like... That crazy. Fairy users are like, uh, big brain as hell. They know all the weaknesses and shit. Um... Okay, I got super potions, but I don't... I'll use them on the ones with lots of health, so... Him. Uh, him, I guess. Him. And him. And we'll use potion on Scroopy. And honestly, I can just craft more. But I don't think I have... Oh yeah, I got enough for this. And I got enough for one of these. So then I can see this is what I this is what I was saying earlier. I like the crafting in this game. It's really cool. They should keep that for all the Pokemon games. If it makes sense. Like if you make it as close to that as you can possibly get it. Because then you can get materials from, like, anything. Like, you could just... Every battle can drop materials, and you'll be like, hell yeah, right? But if you ever go every battle, you'll be like, yeah, got some more materials, right? Because now you just get money and stuff. And you should get money in, and, uh... And, like, an item. An item can be... Just little a a apricorns for making pokeballs, right? Like just that. This is cool. Oh, it's a walrus. A walrine. Walrine. Whatever his name is. I don't think I can fight him yet. Here's a special rock here. Pretty good stuff from that one. Okay, I need to go and turn it to night, which I forgot to do. Oh yeah, I can use the rest until nightfall. We're going to make our Glaceon now too. So, let's see what we got. So we had Chansey. That's pretty cool. She has Soft Boil too. Can I heal all my Pokemon with her? Outside of battle? We have to overrate Cody because he's not watching. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's Roselia. Damn, he picked something I can't get the shiny stone for very easily. Um, oh, Eevee's right there, sure. But who am I going to get rid of here? I'm thinking they're getting rid of Cleavor. <laughs> Cause he keeps getting his ass kicked. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm doing it. We're getting rid of him. As much as I don't want to. Yeah, fuck him. EB is ready to evolve. Do it. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, your EV evolved into Glaceon. Glaceon got the idea for a new move. Thank God, because Eevee's move sucks. Powdered Snow, that's pretty cool. Okay, you got Ice Beam. That's awesome. 100 accuracy, okay. <laughs> I'll take that. Now, Mimic. Question is, do I keep Mimic? Or do I take Powder Snow? We'll keep we'll keep Mimic just just for fun. I mean, when do you get to use Mimic, right? Plus, we've got Streamer Luck on our side. Everything's different here at night time. Gotta go fast. Oh, a little of the wisp was right there. I don't think I can get to it though. Okay, we're not there yet. We gotta go further. Draw stocks. Oh, those clocks. He looks so goofy. Uh, let's do a mimic here. Let's see what we can get. Nothing so faster than him. Shadow sneak. Oh, he used shadow sneak and hex. Let's take hex. That would be perfect. It's not too strong. He's probably gonna kill our Glacian. Oh no way. Poor Glacian. I fed him to the wolves. Let's try Quilava. Ember. We gotta learn something better than Ember soon. Come on. Come on, Quilava. Oh no, he, he's burned. Oh no, no, no. Oh, oh. This is our only hope. In the original Ruby, you could see all four moves and pick which one you wanted to mimic. It was so insane. Yeah, dude. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Yo. Did you watch that whole Pokemon simulation video I sent you? There's a part in it where he does, uh, he explains Ditto. Ditto's actually pretty high up, he's like halfway up the ranks. And the way he did it was, uh, he had a choice scarf. And Ditto, or, uh, whatever, whatever makes you go first. Sometimes, right? He had that. And he said, like, when you... When you have that, there's a good chance you're going to go first, and then... Because that's the only weakness Ditto has, is the speed, really. And if you're doing a mirror fight, and you're bad against your own type, you're screwed. 
Because he's going to one hit KO you. In a 1v1. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Did you see the two links I sent you for Pokemon games? In Cody's stream? Fan made ones? Oh, it's a Manti. Alright, we got our dust locked. Hell ye. So you've seen uh, Pokemon Fusions? Oh, it's a dust clap or dust whatever. <laughs> Evolved form. There's two I sent you, it's Pokemon Fusion Unlimited and Pokemon Reborn. Have you seen either one of those before? Or both of them? Reborn looks dope, yeah I know, it looked pretty cool. I I actually I accidentally found I seen people talking about both of them, that they're both considered like one of the best fan maids, right? And I, ac I accidentally stumbled on it looking for fusions. And uh, I looked at a couple screenshots and I was like, well, this one looks pretty good too. So I'll send that to him too. It's Gen 3, so I, I figured you'd like that too. Did you bring it? You know, the Pokemon with the name that sounds like uh, Dust Bops? I didn't bring it, no. We gotta make room for it. We're going to replace Roselia temporarily. When does Drapion evolve? Are you gonna put are you gonna stream those fan maids? Or either one of them. I think I've seen another one over here. Maybe that's what I saw. I thought it was a Will of the Wisp. Might do reborn after Yellow Legacy. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Mm. Yellow Legacy was pretty cool. I liked watching that. You got screwed by that. Uh... To be fair, you got screwed in the other Nuzzle Lock, wasn't it? Because that thing. They raised the limit in the Pokemon League, right? But what happened during the Legacy run? Cause the yellow legacy fail because you said earlier that uh, you didn't get a good shot at yellow legacy did I okay I put dust claps on right I ran past it though, it's back over here. No worries, dude. K 
Okay, up here. In Yellow Legacy, the fourth rival fight was a level jump, and he wiped me. Avenir Tower. Yeah, I remember that. The rival fight, because you were, uh... You didn't know he was going to be there. Or, no, I guess you did know he was going to be there, but he was a big jump. Did you bring it? You know, the Pokemon with the name that sounds like Dust Pops. Dude, I thought I had it. I do have him. About to like throw it at him. Lavender Tower. It won't let me throw it in. He wants to evolve for him. Because this is Duskull. Damn it. I gotta turn it back to night again. I seen him too on the way back. Nightfall it is. There's a Murkrow there. Could be useful, but screw it. <laughs> I'm not catching any of these Pokemon. I probably should be. I'll do that after, though. I'm gonna get the quest done first. Oh yeah, I gotta go catch that thing. Or evolve this thing. I'm just gonna go catch that thing. Alpha Gold Duck might be pretty good, but I don't know. Water Psychic's good typing though. What do you think of Gold Duck? There he is. Gold Duck can stick my cock and fucking hate his ass. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think he was very good in red and blue. But, you know, I didn't think, he, I don't know if he, they changed him. But I guess not. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Dude, what happened to Ice Beam? I thought I taught him Ice Beam. What is this shit? The name is fucking Psyduck. Oh wait. Being pure water is so stupid. Like, why is he not psychic? His name's not <laughs> Yeah, but Gold Duck is psychic in water, isn't he? He's just pure water type. My god. What did they do to him? They should have made him like Huswai and Bulldog. I made him like a god. Cause think about it. He's cat he's he is Kappa. You know? He should be a god. 
Instead, he's like a fucking platypus. Garbage platypus. <laughs> Okay, I hope this doesn't kill him, but it's probably gonna kill him. Oh, it killed his ass. Critical hit? You gotta be kidding me. Ugh, big experience, though. We'll just run away, run back. I'm sure he'll be there again. I don't see him. It's not good. Drift Bloom is a beast though, eh? Hey, yeah, it's really good. I remember using him as a kid and thinking he was bad because he didn't have like high attack power and stuff, but I never like realized the power of tanky Pokemon. Or understood how like uh and <laughs> how like the deep mechanics of the game, I guess. One of my all time faves. <clears throat> What's no the isn't there a Pokemon that can change the weather? That's the one I'm thinking of. Hmm. No, yeah, they were around the same time. There's Drift Bloom and the other one, Cast Form. Is that his name? I haven't seen that Pokemon in such a long time. Like, does he, is he even a thing anymore? Does he even exist in Pokemon anymore? It is, yeah. Do people use it? He's actual garbage. <laughs> Do people even use weather teams? You'd think they th like. Why don't they make a weather team and have him as like really good? You know, Mega Cast Form. That would be cool. And he would be like a counter to uh, that Ghost Legendary, the Fridge. Weather teams are really strong right now. Gotcha. Sun is good, snow is really good. Rain fell off a little bit, but still good. Sand fell off. Gotcha. Do you watch competitive Pokemon? Or do you just look up the the stats, the data, a little bit? I never actually watched it, but I bet you it's really intense. I mean, I seen a little. I seen that. Uh, I turned it on once or twice. I can't say I watched it a lot. <clears throat> I watch these mostly videos, nothing lot. Kingsley? I guess I gotta turn it back to night again. Maybe it's once a night he comes.
I still got, I haven't even caught all the legendaries in Sword and Shield yet. I never even caught a single one of them, actually. Feels bad, man. Is this night now? It doesn't even look like night. Maybe I'll do a playthrough of Sword and Shield and I'll get the DLC, you know? But that, I don't know if that's going to be anytime soon. Oh, I went past the shipwreck. No, I'm not too shipwreck yet. Finally, we can progress. If I don't kill him this time, hypnosis. Now, let's use something weaker. It's a good way to level, though. If, uh, that's nah, ghost, good against ghost. It is, isn't it? Or am I tripping? Let's use Ice Wind. Cause I don't want to kill this thing. Dark Pulse. Oh, well he's gonna kill me. Go Ice Wind. Oh, he didn't attack for some reason. Pokeball. Yeah. We caught that one eyed bastard. Alright, let's just go back and switch your team out. I got a wild Pokemon on me. I didn't even have to switch out. I can just show them like this. I was gonna say, because I forgot to do it again. You really brought it? No, no, don't bring it out. Right. I guess, I guess, well, I've got to do my part seeing how I'm determined you are to go to that island with Basque Legion. I usually, I um, ask Paulina at the Growlers she takes care of can help me with this bit. But this time you need to help since, well, since they're, since we're making the snack so that you'll be accepted by Basque Legion. Once I give you, this, give the signal, you had the dusk bops of yours use its dark pulse. Three. Two. Wow, no, it's too frightening. <laughs> Could you get a grip? Right. So, can down to it just makes the anticipation and terror worse. Let's simply have you do it when I say go. And go. A delicious aroma wafts through the air. Basque Legion's favorite snack is now ready. You obtained a ball of Basque Legion food. 
A favorite food of Basque Legion, a Pokemon that will bury you on its back. This food is crafted in an unusual way with ingredients gathered via equally unusual methods. Both the aroma and the shape are perfect. It's the perfect ball of Basque Legion food. Then let's make for Ginkgo Landing. We can summon Basque Legion there. Kind of the wrong way. I almost went the wrong way. Oh, hello, Sin. I was just waiting for you. Hello, Iskan. Oh, it's the Growlithe lady. Oh, Paulina. I I thought you said we shouldn't be seen together. I'm sure Sin can keep a secret. Besides, both I and the Growlithe pups were eager to meet with the great Basque Legion again. I see. Well, in that case, let me summon Basque Legion. No, I could have did that. It's the exact same sound as the weird deer. <laughs> Rah! Go on, Sin. You can get the food to Basque Legion now. He's probably a good Pokemon because he's his swi his swi version. He threw in a ball of Basque Legion food. Oh. Rah. <laughs> the great Basque Legion. Oh. Thank goodness. Basque Legion is crazy, yeah. I was a little worried about whether Basque Legion would accept this favor. So, uh, Sin. You should let Basque Legion hear you playing. I think he's part ghost. Well, I don't know, cause well, he wanted the dust clops to use dark pulse. So like, dark pulse is dark, right? And then dust clops is ghost. So I was assuming he wanted to eat the same type of thing that he was. But if he's like maybe Dark wants to eat ghost, I don't know. Basque Legion opened his heart and learned the sound of your playing. Imagine if he was ghost Dark. You received the splash plate from Basque Legion. The splash plate, the stone tablet imbued with the essence of water. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows the Pokemon to gain the power of the water type. Now you can ride Basque Legion across Tranquility Cove and head to Fire Spit Island. Crow, wow! My congratulations to you, Sin. Roar. Paulina, do you want to tell him? Yes, I mentioned you before, to you before how the previous lord rescued his Growlithe pup. During that incident, Iskin and Basque Legion saved my life as well. Since then, I've felt a great deal of affection for Iskan here. I truly adore him. But I know there are those who speak ill of me behind my back. So I try to meet with Iskin where there are no prying eyes to preserve his reputation. Well, well, I was just doing what any decent person would do when I saved you. Perhaps, but nonetheless, after that day, I found the strength to accept Growlithe as he is, and not force him to become the next lord. And it was all thanks to your to the courage you showed me as Ken. 
Uh, perhaps we should save this discussion for another time, after all. Roar. I'll bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and I'll luck to anyone who crosses our path. Ill luck. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. Her name's Charm. Thought you spotted a four-leaf clover? Well, I'll soon have you seen double. I'm the middle sister, and I'm one clover you can't pick. Heads I win, and tails you lose. You've got no chance in this game of fortunes. This is the one that has the taxi croak. This is coin. I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. Do you see him? We're the Misfortune Sisters, known across the frigid land of Hasoi, and your luck's just run out. So she's banded all the, all the way to the far right. Now get ready to hand over that gravelet. You want to take my partner? If you aim is to pester us with bad jokes, those ridiculous introductions of yours were more than enough. Yes, exactly what she said. Now, Gengar. Whoa. For a wow? Oh, she took the Growlithe. Thanks for the Growlithe, fools. We three can't live the kind of lives we want because of narrow-minded groups like the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. We want to live freely in the great land of Hisoi. We need to have powerful Pokemon on our side. Don't worry, we'll make sure this pup grows up nice and strong. We'll even make him a lord for ya. Let's make the mutt to her. Let's take the mutt to our camp and get to work. No, no one will bother us in a place so miserably hot. They're gone. Gengar disguised them. What? No, Gralith. What should we do, Sin? This is an emergency. Right? But, uh, you see, I've never... I've never actually had my partner battle before. Please, Sin, I beg you. Help us. This, that Growlithe is a very dear, very dear Pokemon to me. Please save him. They said they were going to a place where nobody would bother them. To a place around the Cobalt coastlines that seems suitable is... Fire Spit Island. Oh, now you have Basque Legion to help you cross the water. You can reach that island too. Please, can you find it in you to help Paulina? Of course. Oh, thank you, thank you, so kind. We'll make our way to Fire Spit Island as well. <laughs> no, Paulina, you should wait here and keep little Growl safe. I'm sure he needs you right now. Though I'm not sure if you want to go on an island with lightning and bandits and... No, come on, Sid, no. Time to think. We must go now. You should all also know that Basque Legion can jump from the water surface and then jump once again in the air to go even higher. You can throw items from Basque Legion's back, too. In your case, I guess that would mean throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon. Honestly, I have to admit, I'm still a little scared. Do you think you could head over first? You can now call Basque Legion and ride across the water on his back. Press the plus button or the A button when you're in the water to summon Basque Legion across the water on his back. While riding Basque Legion, you'll still be able to throw items. What's more, when Basque Legion jumps into the air, you'll have time to adjust your aim before you throw. Oh yeah, we unlocked, uh, 
Surf, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's fast. He's like a motorboat. And he can double jump. Because he's a ghost. That's pretty crazy. He can, like, jump. He can swim through the water and he can jump out of the water and then he can float. What is that? It's a man manta tea <laughs> or manti or whatever they're called. It's alpha too. What's this thing? Remoraid. Cross poison. This game can't handle graphics. It's too bright. Still up. Acid spray. Okay. We're gonna do great ball here. Shellios. I think that's named that Pokemon. Now I gotta catch him and see. Shellos, yep. Something worthwhile, like give me like a any kind of water Pokemon is good. It's all rim raids, bro. Manti, like the two most the two water Pokemon I would definitely wouldn't use. Break their spine, yeah. I'll get them, dandy. You boo you. Oh my god, it's the Gyarados. Alpha Gyarados. Wait, if he's Alpha, is he regular Gyarados? Let's go for the regular one. That's a good water Pokemon. Ooh, we took that Scroop in one hit. To be fair, it's half health. How's it going, Dandy Ubuyu? That's a sick username. Um, Mud Bomb. No effect. Oh, he's flying. I forgot. I'm doing pretty good. Just chilling. We, uh,. This is my first playthrough of this game, so it's pretty fun. Scarados can tear my team apart, though. You just started playing this recently? Yeah, this is my first playthrough. <clears throat> um, I'm on my third star out of ten. So we played yesterday and a little bit today. 
Oh, I need to put ice beam on him. That's not good. Oh, you learned crunch though. Have you played this before? What starter did you pick? I chose Cyntaquil. It was a pretty hard choice though. I still need to evolve him. He's Quilava right now. I play this almost every day. Nice dude. That's pretty cool. You must be really far. Just got my Deardos, hell yeah. Ooh, good pick. Yeah, I've, I've seen the... Like, fire and ghost is just so cool. It's like one of my favorite combinations. Shiny hunt is the best. Yeah, we just got... Oh, I'm gonna drown. We just got, uh... Shiny Ambifam. So I thought that was pretty cool. I played Sword and Shield before. I did a lot of Shiny hunting on there. I, I really like the open world sh Shiny hunting. It's pretty fun. Not gonna lie. Gonna pop up. Question is, should I put Gyarados on my team? Oh yeah, and I should probably go up there too. Uh. I don't think our guys can survive. And came to right there. Oops. I should probably heal them. Oh god, he's gonna take two just himself. Noble Pokemon battle can be crazy. I did uh, Cleavor and Lilligant and Ursaluna so far. And, well, Basculegion wasn't frenzied, so. I think this zone doesn't really have one yet. A Noble yet. Music is sick. Well, uh, Fire Spite Island. It's certainly hot enough to feel like a sweat bath, isn't it? And now we've got a ghost and bandits to deal with on top of the heat? I'm very sorry, but do you think you could lead the way soon? That poor Growlit. I don't dare imagine what those bandits are doing to him now. You're not wrong, bro. Get out of here with your growl graveler ways. Oh, it's Magmar. We catch that. We catch that. <clears throat> Time for noble battle. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I really need to get Quilava up a little bit. He's about to evolve. Oh, fire punch. You got any water type on team? Uh, no, but I just caught a Gyarados. <laughs> I should probably go back and half my Pokemon are dead. 
Sorry, way past my bedtime. I gotta go. Six stream though. All right, some cat. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm probably gonna have to get off uh, after this fight myself. I'm gonna attempt it with the guys I got. Maybe I can craft some. You can find Piplup somewhere in this area. Ooh. Piplup is really good, huh? I didn't think you could get starters like that around here, but that's cool. We might be okay if I revive my guys. Oh, I can't make. Okay, reviving might be enough. Because I can use other things to heal them. Like this, right? Yep. Is Piplup in the water? Save to heal your mind first. Okay, one sec. Not on water. Gotcha. So what do you mean by save? Like, like, oh, it doesn't even let me save. Oh, now I can. Cross this Volcano Island, I think. I'm just gonna attempt it. If I faint, I faint, and I'll go back. And then I'll come here again. Famous last words. Come on, evolve already. We've done our homework. Any Pokemon gutsy enough to come to this lava trap? It's supposed to evolve. So get on with it already. You will become stronger, like it or not. Or wow. Oh look, the pest again. Stand back, sisters, I'll take care of him. Go, a bomb the snow. Smash this fool to pieces. Bandit Clover challenge you to battle. So do you do shiny hunt streams? Or are you just shiny hunt uh, by like, not on a stream? This is gonna be a tough one. We're gonna use hypnosis here. Oh, he doubled me. No way. I don't stream, but I enjoy watching people stream. I didn't stream for a long time, but uh, just started this year. A couple months ago. But I've been streaming every day, so. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, Get a lot more people soon. Battle decided. Been busy? Yeah, I stream every day. Um, I do this full time now. Because I don't, I don't, I'm not working, so. You know, Bomb the Snow can't fight at full power and crazy heat like this. It wasn't a fair battle. We were basically going easy on you. In fact, how dare you make force bam snow battle in such a stupidly hot place. You're the one who sent out a bomb the snow, sister. Go on then, Toxic Croak. Pour it some poison for our unwelcomed guests. I'm a variety streamer. So I do like a bunch of stuff. That slum cat guy that was just in here. He does like nuzzle, nuzzle lock uh, Pokemon runs and stuff too. 
He just recently got into it. He's really good at Pokemon. He's fun to watch too. And uh, we got another friend too. We just started streaming. Come on, a Ambipom. Got this. Taxi croak. What a blithering moon calf I am. How can I let myself lose? Oh, Queen Lava's level 33. I guess I lose the coin toss sometimes. <clears throat> I did warn you, didn't I, that I had a score to settle with the Galaxy team. All the pain and suffering I experienced after coming up here from the Kanto region to work, I'm going to make you pay for every last slight. My god, it's a Gengar. I don't know if I have speed this. Oh no, it's a Rhydon. Okay. So you play Pokemon a lot? I've been playing Pokemon since I was a little boy. <laughs> like 25 years ago. Do I play it a lot? I don't know about it a lot, but I always play, I try to play it out. Like, I play it whenever it's out, and I've been playing fan made games lately. I played Sword and Shield, but I didn't play it on stream. I did Dark Souls before this. <laughs> so I do like a lot of random stuff. So a nuzzle lock run is when you beat a Pokemon game, but if a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead, and you can't use it anymore, you have to release it, and you're only allowed to catch the first Pokemon you see in every zone, and uh, some, some games actually have nuzzle lock mode, which will scale the trainer's level to your level. And stuff like that. So, it's actually really fun to watch. Because when something dies, it's gone, right? And you're like, no! Oh, that good Pokemon, right? <laughs> I didn't really know about it either until some cat showed me. Or you're asking me if I nuzzle lock. I've never nuzzle locked yet. But I want to. After watching the uh, Cause I, he only he did some cat showed me it like a week ago. <laughs> no, Duskull cannot beat that Gengar. Oh all my Pokemon are back. See, it's a good thing I did attack. Do I get to keep all that experience? If I did, that would be crazy. See, the problem with Glaceon, I forgot to give him Ice Beam. So he's basically useless. But I guess he's gonna tank this thing pretty good. We'll just let him. Hunting for shiny Finian, no luck yet in here. So can you put charms on the ground and make water types? Ah, uh, come to you. Do you play Scar, Scarlet and Violet? Uh, that's the newest one, right? Yeah. I have it. I haven't played the DLC though. So I might actually... Do people do Nuzzle Lock, Scarlet, and Violet now?
because I would uh, I would love to do a fan made sword and shield nuzzle lock. <laughs> that sounds really fun. Cause sword and shield was great, but it wasn't very hard, you know. And I never did the DLC, so if they included the DLC, that would be nuts. You know, Bound of Snow can't fight at full power in crazy heat like this. It wasn't a fair battle. We were basically going easy on you. In fact, how dare you make poor Abomin' Snow battle in such a stupidly hot place. You're the one who sent out Abomin' Snow, sister. Scarlet Violet are weird. Yeah, they are weird. Go on then, Toxicroak. Pour out some poison for our unwelcome guest. We had some fun with it, because the three of us got, all got it at the same time, and we were doing raids together and stuff. So it was, was alright. I can't say it was bad, but it was like, performance was a little rough and, you know, stuff like that. I'm hoping if they make a new console, it'll be like, 60 FPS, right? At, at least. If not more. I don't know why I have Duskull on my team. I didn't mean to have him on my team. You need to keep Psychic and Waterman on team just in case. Yeah, I need to, uh... See, I had a quest to show that guy Dus Dusclops. And I accidentally, I thought he meant Duskull, and I put it on my team. There should be a Roselia there, but I guess he wouldn't help very much in this situation. So he's poison fighting, so I need Drifling. And then we're gonna Hypnos into Hex. Hypnosis into Hex. Don't worry, we got the tech. Hidden secret weapon. What a blithering mooncap I am. How can you let myself lose? I'm just secretly power leveling. I guess I lose the coin toss sometimes. I did warn you, didn't I, that I had scored to settle with Galaxy Team. All the pain and suffering I experienced at the coming up from coming up here from the Kanto region to work. I'm going to make you pay for every last light. I did, I did have a cadaver on the team for a little while, and I changed him out for uh, something. If I could get a water psychic type, that would be really nice. I'm kind of challenging myself because I told Slumpcat he could choose a Pokemon and my other friend he could choose a Pokemon. So they chose Ambipam and Roserade. So really I only have four choices. I think we're just going to go straight for the ice wind here. Defeated Rhydon. Gengar. Oh, I used Hex. Oh, I'm going to use Shadow Ball. Boom. Game over. Battle decided. <laughs> what a disgrace. Drifting OP. How could all of us have been? Hey Charm, I healed up a bomb of snow and coins Toxicroak, good as new. Now we can keep battling until we run out of potions. Bow. 
What? Hey, no one invited you, Tiny. You're really going to insist on getting in the way, you little runt? Grow wow. Take him down, Taxi Crook. And I know it's hot, but hang in there, Bound Snow. Smash that runt. Growlith, please stop. You cannot beat such foes. Alina, what are you doing here? I thought you were waiting for a little Growlith. I was, but then he jumped into the ocean without warning and swam all the way here. Wow. Into the ocean? But he was terrified of the ocean after he swallowed up the former lord. His own father. Rawr. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, he's evolving. Oh, yeah. Looks like he finally found his courage. The late Lord's child. He's evolved. His true bravery lay not in the crossing the sea, but in the finding the strength to face hardship head on. You gotta be joking me. Why'd the puny one evolve? Uh, sisters? Something's not right. Oh, is he gonna be frenzied? Oh, no. Way. He looks sick. <laughs> Too bad you couldn't catch him like that. What? Paulina, stay back. Well, what's happened to him? The strange lightning hit him. He's been frenzied, just like the other nobles. Oh, this is exactly what I didn't want to come to this island. Uh, everything was going just as we'd want it before that awful mutt ruined everything. Enough of the sisters, we leave this place. We won't be making any living without our lives. Hey, wait, this is all your fault. We should get out of here too, Paulina. Otherwise, we're fair game for Arcanine. Come on, Sin, we should hurry. Lena. What were you going to do about Growlith? I mean, Arcanine. Noble Arcanine is dangerous. Yeah, dude, he sounds like, pretty strong. I want to catch one. I got a Firestone. Wait, actually, you just got to bring him to here, I guess, don't you? The dear little Pokemon is my responsibility at his warden. It is my duty to protect him with everything I have. Can you catch Growlithe around here somewhere? Seeing what must we do to quell his frenzy? Please, tell us what we need. We'll need to make some bombs. Bombs? Iridia? What are you talking about? I'm the leader of our clan. Is it so surprising that I know a little more about these things than you, Lena? I held my tongue the first time, but now I must insist. Please stop calling me Lena in front of everyone. And yes, I'm well aware you're our leader, Iridia. How could I forget that you were the one chosen? You, who can use your celestial flute. Celestica flute to summon Pokemon and have them carry you to even the furthest reaches of vast Hisui. I've learned a little about these frenzies as well. There's a special method for dealing with them. We can make bombs, pouches containing a mix of the Lord's favorite foods, and throw them from a safe distance. Isn't that right, Sim? Well, uh, in that case, I do always carry some of the Growl's favorite foods with me. So I can thank him when he uses his flames to help prepare Basque Legion's favorite meal. Why, Iskan, once again, your thoughtfulness saves the day. 
Now we can make those bombs right away. Yes, let's get right to work. They're ready. Here are the bombs we need. Please let me know when you feel prepared to try to quell Lord Arcanon's frenzy. So... Can we fast travel here? Yes. Alright, perfect. Let's go back, switch up our, our, our Pokemon. Heal up. I gotta do something right now before I forget. Because I will forget. I'm gonna give him Ice Beam. I don't know why it didn't go on in the first place. Yeah. Heal up. And we're going to switch. Don't need Duskull. We're switching for Gyarados. Scroopy, when does he evolve? I want to have Cleaver. I just so many Pokemon I want. Gyarados is just temporary though. So we need to put Roselia back there <clears throat> when we get a shiny stone. Oh wait. Let's fast travel. Way faster. Oh, this is why I said it looked like a hand. From the air, it looks like a hand. I get it now. Okay, this map is pretty cool. I like this map. Are you ready soon? I'm as ready as I'm ever going to be, I guess. Sin, please do your utmost to save my dear Arcanine. He may have finally become a lord, but it is clear that his frenzy is causing him to suffer greatly. Be on your guard. The late Lord Arcanine would launch devastating attacks after standing still and gathering light around himself. Remember that while you're dodging, moves will slip right by you. Good luck. I might need it for this fight. Cutscenes are beautiful. Lord of the Isles, Arcanine. Uh, okay, lockdown. Let me get my bearings here. Still got me. Show Arcanine your power. Strong style. Rock slide. Oh no, he's, he's flying. He's dead. A secret weapon is destroyed. Ice? Rock is good against ice, I forgot. Oh no. Oh, I'm screwed. Sweet. Can't see his. Okay. <laughs> you have to step back a little bit so I can see his health. You know what? I'm still gonna do this. Hopefully, it freezes him. 
it still does more damage than quick than swift. Oh, that's bad. He's using raging fury. That raging fury. I'm hoping that's a normal type move, but I'm guessing it's not. We get a hypnosis out. Yeah. Oh, he's drowsy. Strong style. Rock slot. Oh, he's flying. I forgot. He lost his fervor though. Hmm. <laughs> Amy Pound's not going to be much help here. Maybe Mud Bomb would be though, actually. Mud bomb might save my butt. Go cool, mud bomb. <laughs> uh, there's my chance. He's invincible. Ah, there's fire on the ground, that's why it hits me. It's cheating. Not good. If I just stand here, can he hit me? Oh no. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh. He got me good. When Arcane starts building up energy, that means he's preparing to unleash a devastating pillar of flame. That's possible to evade. Hit him with as many bombs as you can during that phase. Stops attacking the tracks. Will you attempt this battle again? Yeah, restart the battle. I'm kind of screwed, though, because my... Everything is weak to rock. Open me. Am I dodging too fast in that? Um, mode bomb is the only way. Boom, one shot in the mud bomb. <laughs> He's really weak to grand types. to it.
Let's stand like right here. Oh, he changes direction. I get it. Still hit me. Oh, no. It was the only thing I could do. Screw the Pokemon. experience. Oh look, the strange light has left Arcanine and is vanishing into the space-time rift? You received the flame plate from Arcanine. A flame, flame plate. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of fire. When used on certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of fire type. What could possibly lie on the other side of the rift, I wonder? What? Was that two different Arcanine cries just now? Whoa, I seen him. Oh, now I understand. My little Growlithe. Ah, no, I misspoke. Lord of the Isles, Arcanine. You and I must now live apart so that we may attend to our separate duties. Oh. Now, now, all will be well. You're strong. Far stronger than me, in fact. Rawr. From now on, let us each strive to fill our duties as Lord and Warden. Now go, Lord Arcanine. Your realm awaits. I want me a uh, Growlithe. Give me that one. <laughs> I'll raise him good. I swear is it. Mm. Was I the only one who felt like they heard the cry of the previous Lord Arcanine earlier? Oh, how odd. How odd. I certainly didn't. Please, I do hope you're joking. I easily scare as it is. What am I to do if I start hearing the cries of ghosts all the time? No need to worry, Iskana. I only kid. I also heard the voice of the previous Lord calling out to us. 
It wasn't I. I it was. It seems I wasn't the only one watching over his young pup this whole time. Since you have my heartfelt thanks for helping me, my dear little one, the new Lord Arcanine. I'm sorry to ask even more of you, but please look after Rydia as well. Now then, Iskan, I believe we'd bet best be out. Sin, I wasn't much use just watching from the side, was I? You know, when Nino wasn't, wouldn't raise Ryleth to be the new lord, and people in her clan were doubting her fitness as a warden, I urged her to put Ryleth through the proper training, but he snapped at me. This poor Pokemon saw his own father die, she told me. Is it a warden's duty to force a child in such pain through that training? Those words left me with much to consider. And even when Arcanine became Lord of the Isles and grew frenzied, all I could do was watch. What if it's bombs? Please, all I did was arrive late and help explain about the bombs, something you could have done without me. Is that so praiseworthy? Do I deserve to be recognized for such a slight contribution? I took on leadership of the Pearl Clan so young, with no grand vision of what it should be. Still, I tried to respect their old customs and sights, even as some called me old-fashioned for it. But watching you, I finally see I know what I, what I want to do. I want to protect this vast land of Azuri. Grant me another battle someday soon. I want to battle alongside my partners so I can grow strong enough to be of help to you and to broaden horizons of the world I see. Looks like I've got Lena to thank for another lesson that I've learned. I should let her know. I want. I hear more about her relationship with Warden Iskan while I'm at it. Here's where we part for now, Sin. I need to get over off this oven oven island. Report to Com Commander Kamado that you've accomplished this mission. Alright, we'll, we'll pass this in and then we're heading off for the night. It's uh, pretty late here. Caught 18 Pokemon, nice. 11,000. Oh, it seems you made some new observations. Let's have a look then. Mm hmm. I see. Most illuminated. Update our Pokedex. Uh, begins. Oh, halfway. Well, the new Lord Arcanine. Oh, let's tell Commander Kamado the good news then, shall we? Back to Jubilife we go. I'll talk to her tomorrow. Let's see what these guys got, though. Anything? No. A special product in stock, stealth spray set. Yeah, I guess so. Since I'm not poor anymore. There are some requests posted on Blackboard, which when we check. The taste of honey. Speak to good fellow and help him out with his research. Yeah. Kamado is upstairs, I believe. You did well on your mission in the Cobalt Coastlands. Your efforts there aided not only the Galaxy team, but the Pro Clan as well. I do hope your efforts will also have an impact on the space-time rift somehow. If we're able to get rid of that rift, it should clear any lingering doubts about your origins. 
So how how we might actually close the rift? I haven't the slightest idea. Remain true to the mission. The Lord of the Island. If you notice that today's potato mochi tastes a bit different, well, that's because I used the Pokemon's flames to roast them. Bon appetit. The birth of a new lord Pokemon, what a sight that must have been. If only I had journeyed to Firespit Island to witness the event myself. I have a hard time imagining you making that trip on Basque Legion's back, Professor. Come on now, you know my coordination is so poor. I couldn't even hit my own feet with my po with a Pokeball. And I can't dodge Pokemon attacks to quite literally save my own skin. Of course, I can't possibly ride atop a fearsome beast like Basque Legion. That being said, we'd all do better to remember these wise words. The ever striving soul is rewarded in the end. And I shall strive, and strive I shall, for the sake of my research. I will surely ride a Pokemon one day, and record the experience in our Pokedex for all posterity. Just you watch. The next day. Who's this? Good morning, good sir, who came from the sky. Commander Kamado told me to let you know he waits for your arrival in his office. Alright guys. This is gonna pull me in yet. Okay, never mind. Sin, I have your next orders. You must go to Cornet Highlands to quell another frenzied noble, Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. Electrode has a propensity to store up electricity in his body, then unleash it. But since Electrode became frenzied, those electro bursts have become giant blasts. Hmm. We'll be enlisting the Pearl Clan's aid in securing your safe passage to Electrode's seat. I sent word ahead to Iridia asking. No, no, you don't have permission to go up there. Oh, save it. As if I'll be stopped by the likes of you. Now, out of my way. Oh, look at this. Who's this? Hey ho, Bossman Kamado. I thought I might have slipped your mind to send me an invite, so I took the liberty of stopping by anyway. Melly, where are your manners? We're having an important conversation. Well, there's your issue right there, Admin. How do you how exactly did you intend to discuss Electrode without me? It's mighty warden here to weigh in. There's no more to discuss. We've already asked Sin to quell the Lord of the Hollow. Ah, come on. Is it me you're trying to humiliate here? Or our entire clan? Besides, do you really think this flimsy little noodle can quell Electrode? Commander, I'm sincerely sorry for this heedless interruption. Pay it no mind. It seems even Security Corps personnel I trained myself cannot stop one so capable as Warden Melly. That being said... Yes? It is clear that Security Corps needs even further rounds of training from me later. Hear that, Melee? The security corps will sob themselves to sleep tonight, thanks to you. The Commander Sumo's moves can send even boulders flying. <laughs> now, now. That will do. Sin, you have your orders. See to it that electrode is quelled. Warden Melly, of course we would appreciate your help if there's anything you might assist with. Now go. Listen, Melly, the Galaxy team, well, he's Sin, is amazing. And we'll prove it. Follow me outside. Alright, we gotta see where this goes.
All right, Sin, go around with me. You bet. Oh, Glaceon versus Leafeon. Melly, make sure you watch closely now. Ambipom. I guess Ambipom is in front. No, we're gonna swap. Glaceon. I wanna see what you can do with your Ice Beam. Use Leaf Blade. Critical hit. Can I outspeed him? Yep. Ice Beam. Boom. Defeated him. Oh, he's using two at once. Didn't realize. Alright. Easy win here with Drifflin. Oh, he's he's mean to me too. Baby doll eyes. Defensive stats were lowered. Let's go with Ice Wind here. Can't hurt me. Battle decided. You see how good Sin is now? Yes. No more sneering at him. Hmm. Now, I think our helper from the Pearl Clan is going to meet you at the training grounds once you're ready. Till later, Sin. Glad to have your help, as always. Melly, shift yourself. Unless you want to get even more of an earful than you're already, than you're already due for. Ah, come on, admin. Cut me some slack here. in. Join me in the Survey Corps office. We'll go over the particulars of your new mission. Your survey work will take you to the Cornet Highlands next. You'll be on the wrist doorstep. There's no telling what peril awaits. To take on the Highlands, you must achieve the rank of four star or higher. You know how. Evolve Pokemon into other Pokemon. Use items to stun them or induce other effects in the wild. Complete such research tasks to raise your rank and aid with any requests you might find you might have found on the Professor's Blackboard. Alright guys. This is going to be the end of our stream. It was real fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're gonna be doing some more tomorrow. And, uh, don't forget to leave a like, share, subscribe, follow if you enjoyed the channel. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.